Hi. Oh, why is that playing sound? Don't do that. Hello. Hello. I hope you're all doing very well today. Let's get cracking on a thing and then we're going to have a chat. Real quick. Real quick. I'm sure you've already noticed it already, but that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> How is everybody? How are we all? Uh, where is... I am, I am just... It's fine. It's fine. Totally fine. <laughs> Everything's exploding all at once. But it's okay, I've been semi-productive. Actually, more than semi-productive, I think. Getting stuff done feels good. Yeah, there's, uh, Whoa, that's loud. <laughs> Sheaves! Oh my god. Oh my god. By the sun well. Oh my god. What? That's fine. That's fine. I need to fix a thing. Not sure what I do. That's fine. Holy cow. And we also, so I needed to, there's a, uh, this one as well. By the sun well. Thank you so much to Kiwi and Shiba and Doop with all of your resubs. Oh my god, Kiwi with Prime, 55 months. Shiba with a tier 3 for 32 months. Doop with tier 2 for 20 months. And Biddy's from Kiwi. Jesus. Oh god, that's a hairbrush. See, it's a hairbrush. <laughs> what is going on? What is going on? Place your units in the battle. Do the thing. My god. Right. Okay. Let me just pop that for just a moment. So in case you haven't noticed, we have a new sponsor. I am, I am blown away and so, so happy to be able to announce that I'm now sponsored by Fractal. Fractal Design, they do cases, they do fans, they do cooling systems, they all the, the PC building needs. You can type exclamation Fractal in chat or scroll down and click the panel there to have a look at their range. I'm so excited. So, so excited. Um, and soon, TM, they're based in Sweden. So, soon, TM, I will have... Uh, a case to be able to unbox and show you all. What? <laughs> what on earth is going on? We're rocking it. That's what's going on. How awesome is that? Thank you so much, Fractal, for, for considering me for a sponsorship and for going for it. My goodness. Um, so you'll see, like, yeah, perfect timing! You'll see this little baby pop up every so often, and then it'll be replaced with the chat command that you can use to pull up that link. Um, the link is not an affiliate link. I don't have a discount code. The reason for that is that Fractal doesn't sell direct. They sell via retailers. And because if they had codes, they'd have to get those programs set up with every single retailer globally that they would, because they're a global supplier. Um, so unfortunately I don't have a discount code to offer you, but the links do have tracking, I do believe, um, to have a look and see what they've got available and to, to make it all pretty and shiny um, and you know, all that kind of fun stuff. So there you go. There you go. How awesome is that? That's ridiculous. Um, now let's see if we can figure out how to make a moment again. <laughs> um, but I think I've been talking too long and I think it might be, mute that. Um, yeah, I think they've, uh-oh. Um, I don't like this system. Like it's beautiful and I love that you guys can claim these things and stuff, but I don't like how uneditable, non-editable they are. Um, and I don't think I, I don't think I can make them later. It has to happen like when it happens, um, which is really really frustrating. So let's go all the way. TM, they're based in Sweden. So, so 
Okay, so that's not gonna... A second, maybe I can, when it's... Maybe when I'm pointing out the... The logo, maybe that will work? Yep, okay, cool. I'm bad at this. Good to know. Um... <laughs> Hey, there we go. Okay, so there's where where does that? Um, so you'll see like um, so you'll see like yeah, perfect timing. You'll see this little baby pop up every so often, and then it'll be replaced with the chat command that you can use to pull up that link. Um, the link is not an affiliate link. I don't have a discount code. The reason for okay, let's cut that bit off because that's not fun. Um, the link is no further back. Welcome to fear editing. Command that you can use to pull up that link. All right, it's gonna be a very, very brief moment, but it's fine. Let's play that and see if that's enough. Um, so you'll see like, yeah, perfect timing. You'll see this little baby pop up every so often to <laughs> and then it'll be replaced with the chat command that you can use to pull up that link. Um, um, so you'll see- That's, that'll do. Publish. Done. Okay, there you go. <sighs> All right. <laughs> oh, Lord. I, the moment system is beautiful and lovely, but I hate it. It's just, it's so restrictive. It's so restrictive and like, yeah. So that's fine. They do you, Mart. They do you, Mart, do. They absolutely do. Um, okay, let me scroll back and catch up on chat. Um, <laughs> um, where is we? Well done on first dupe. Uh, Shiba missed out, but grabbed second. Well done. Thurf for Desir. And then the sub from Kiwi. It is Fear. Hello, Desir. And then we have she's low, low price of 32 easy payments for 99.99. You two can buy the sun well. Look. Oh, God. Oh god. Um, is it really fine? Honestly? Yeah. Um, it is- it has been full on. Like, today I was taking screenshots of- of analytics for Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, uh, for Felix. I was making this stuff happen. Thank you. Making that stuff happen and and sending off stats and up and doing chatbot commands and all this kind of stuff for Fractal. I'm I'm working on some stuff like actual physical objects that I'm gonna bring with me to PAX. I was we shot some some socials content today. Um, it has been like so busy, but like in the best possible way. It's just it's all happening. Um, and that's not even talking about the thing I have a phone call about on Thursday. <laughs> you love me. You love when I do those teasy things, don't you? Because then you know there's like, you should probably tune in on Friday. Like it's a, yeah, it's just, everything is happening. Um, I, I called dad yesterday to tell him a few things that I've learned in the last week. And um, his response was, okay, 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 okay. Like that was the, yeah, I was, I was giving him a sentence and then another bit of information and another bit of, and then it all just kind of, yeah. Um, and, and one of the things he said to me was, it's not going to slow down. It's not like the only way that this slows down is if I stop. I am in complete control now. If I stop, it stops. But if I keep going, it's just going to keep coming. And I'm like, Bate. <laughs> but this is the dream. This is like... I didn't know quite how busy I would be doing this. Like, I, you can't... There's no way possibly to know that kind of... You know? Like, you just... You can't until you're in it. But... It is everything I had hoped it would be and more. If you had told me a year and a half ago, if, if you had told me, um, I was talking to Sheebs, uh, when Friday, Friday, I was talking to Sheebs on Friday. 
um, in a in a voice call. And basically, like I, I I went back scrolling through my Twitter DMs. January twenty ninth, twenty twenty one. January twenty ninth, twenty twenty one was the day that Blizzard A and Z DM'd me, followed me, and DM'd me on Twitter, asking if I would like to be on the launcher. That moment, everything has changed. And if you had told me on January 28th, this is what my life would be like the next year. I, I, and I said it a few times, I would have laughed at you, but genuinely, I didn't even know, like the, some of the opportunities that are starting to present themselves, I didn't even know that they existed. I didn't even know that it was a goal. And now it's an email with this thing in it. And I'm like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> it's, and it's all thanks to you guys. Without you lot, none of this would be possible. Not even close. Because it's it's a, it's a streamer, content creator, influencer, whatever you want to call it. It's our communities. Without our communities, we have two followers. And that gets you nothing. Like, do you know what I mean? It's without you guys, none of this would be possible. And so thank you. Thank you for giving me a platform. Thank you for believing in me and supporting in me. Like, this whole, like, y'all rock. <laughs> y y oh, oh y'all rock. Um, so yes, it is, it is really, it really is fine. Um, can you tell we were waiting just, just a little? <laughs> Good morning, Mara. I'm very well, thank you. I hope you can say the same. Oh, you already said you're good, thanks. Fantastic! Yay! Um, I think I just spotted it. Yes! I know, right? How awesome is that? Super nifty. And a hype train already, Seeker. I know. What the hell? Hello, Phil. Welcome back. Hello, hello. This lady with all the sponsors. Look, just a couple. Um, uh, Kiwi dropped a, a meme uh, in, in mod chat that I was collecting sponsors like Pokemon. <laughs> and like, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. As long as they're like, as long as they're companies that I believe in and like agree with and, you know, can, can find a connection there. That's what's important. It's not just the cash. It's got to, I've got to believe in the brand. And Fractal's gear is beautiful and it works and it's reasonably priced and it's, it's minimalist. Which I know some people like, like big things with lots of flashing lights and, and bits and pieces and all that kind of stuff. And they do have RGB things and that kind of thing if that's your jam. But it's just, it's simplicity. I and I love that. Dream, thank you so much for the sub. Much appreciated. Oh, it's, an, oh, it's a gifted Hi, sub bomb. Holy cow. Thank you, Anonymous, for the sub bomb. Congratulations to Dream and Kalash and Majesty and Chombi and Sean on all of you getting caught in that uh, in that sub bomb. Thank you, Hi, Anonymous. Much appreciated. But yes, they do. They are at Umart. They are at Umart. If you make purchase... Hi, Sunwell. If you make purchase and you feel comfortable doing so, post on social media and tag me. And tag Fractal. Hi, the sun well. If you don't feel comfortable posting on socials, but you are comfortable sharing like product photography with me, like if you set yourself up with a Fractal, with Hi, Fractal the gear. Sun well. Sen, thank you so much for the resub seven months. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my Lord. Um, but yeah, if you do get something from them and you're happy, you're not happy posting on socials yourself, but you're happy sending me a picture of it, it doesn't have to have you in it. Um, but yeah, if you want to send me that stuff, feel free. Um, I know like Seekers shared me, uh, shared with me a few photos um, with her, her Dreamway from Wailera and things like that. I love that stuff. Um, I, and if you're happy for me to share it on your behalf, I don't have to tag you. I can, all that privacy is, for, you know, privacy first, consent first. Um, but if you're happy with me sharing your images, feel free to send stuff through. Um, but yes! Magic moments! You could always do a pretend new announcement. I could. I could. Maybe that- maybe that's what I need to do dupe next time. Maybe I need to, like, announce it and then do the- the spiely, blabby, talky, like, telling you about why and stuff. And then do, like, a summary thing and then get that as a moment. I think that is a phenomenal idea and I will absolutely be stealing that next time. 
or like borrowing wing with permission is the <laughs> other option. Pretty looking cases, they are, aren't they? They're gorgeous. They're really pretty. Momentous occasion, indeed. New badge, yes, you get a new badge. When you claim a moment, you get a new badge. And as you claim more of them, your badge ranks up. We get a maximum five moments per month. So they're very, they're very special. And I know what our third one's gonna be this month. <laughs> um, in fact, I might even know what the fourth one's gonna be. Yep. <laughs> well, we'll see, we'll see. No, no holding my breath, but um, yeah. So that's how it, that's how it happens. Um, if you are here when a moment is created, you get a bar that comes up, you can claim it. And uh, you've only got like a minute or so to claim it. So make sure, yeah, it's it's to encourage people to always be here in case something big happens, you know? I, I get why they're doing it, but also it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. Plus there's a whole shelf. If you have a look, if you come to the channel while I'm offline, there's a shelf with like recent moments as well. So in, at the moment, it's going to tell people that I have two new sponsors. <laughs> Badges, you can probably the artist badge out of my cold dead hands though. So, yeah, look, fair, fair. Wait, wait, what? Why are we waiting? Uh, would you call future X back 11.0 plus speculation spoilers? Um, uh, I, I, I don't know, but like, I, I genuinely think that at this point, like 11 point, we don't even have Dragonflight yet. Like, why can't we just have fun with what we what, what's coming? Why do we have to speculate about something that's going to be like two years in the, I don't know. I've too much going on now. Too much happening right now for me to think about what's going to happen two years from now. Jesus. Um. <laughs> Badge taken over. You can swap them back, Sheeps. You can swap them back. It's in your, like, your chat identity thing. Um. Uh. Choo-choo, indeed. Thank you so much for everyone, like, contributing to the hype train. So generous of you. So generous. All in, folks. Yas. Well done, meaty, on winning the free-for-all. I figured I'd missed it. I win as I should. Yas. Feels overly really assuming you look like one of those nutty wow US. What is that much supposed <laughs> Look, I'm, um... I have, I have spoken to, um, there's like a of my contact at Fractal, I can like chat with them and they're open to suggestions and stuff like that. And I have suggested that they provide this thing here um, as a gift that can slot into something like this so that if we have an existing thing on the overlay that we can slot it in as long as it shows up as often as is, as is required in the contract, having that as an option just to kind of declutter our overlays a little bit. But um, it's it's not daytime or, and it's still the weekend. Um, and you know, obviously they're doing, they, they manage that program as part of their job. Um, so I assume I won't hear back for a little while from that one, but, um, uh, look, Hey, you know, if we have ideas, all we can do is, is put them forward and see what happens. Like the, um, the, are you okay stream we had on Friday? Um, GGWP was trying to figure out how to put a Twitch team together to invite all the people, but they, they you can't make a team unless you're a partner and a partner can only make two teams in their entirety of their like lifetime on Twitch. And I thought like having, having a, a creating a team for the sake of a two week event is a little, I don't know, mm, you know? So I suggested we use the tags now that we have the custom tags. And so they ran with that instead. So all you can do is put forward those ideas. And if they're good, then they get used. If they don't, if they're not, then they don't. And it's, yeah, you just do what you can, right? I know it's in the middle of the screen, not much, but it's just, yep, just like this. <laughs> no, I, I, I hate clutter. I, especially my, my, this is why I don't have like a big fancy things all over the place. Cause it's just, I like it minimalist. So look, we'll see how we go. Just check it. Yes, it's impossible. We all know she says no real voice. I just, AI modding program. <laughs> oh no, it wasn't on my, see what is that? See, it was the AI mod, she was this dog mod. Yes, correct. See, it's look. Is it all coming together and climbing? Oh yes, oh yeah, it's it's all happening. It's all happening for you, taking being a completionist all the way. I mean, I mean. Um, good morning, Zen, welcome back. First 20th anniversary is in two years. Uh, yes, it will be, that's right, because it's the 18th this year. What's your favorite juice? Oh, Katasha, that is a, that is an interesting question. I am a 
big fan of like cloudy apple juice, but also like if you're if you're counting fruit drink, you know the stuff that's like 25% fruit juice. It's not actually juice, it's mostly sugar and water, but there is some juice in there. If we're including that, I do love orange and passion fruit. There's just something about it that's just so good. And like you can use like a little bit of it and top it up with soda stream, like fizzy water, like like sparkling water. And it it oh, it's so good. So good. But I do like if we're talking about like pure juice juice, like 100 percent juice, then it'd be then it'd be cloudy apple juice, I reckon. How about yourself? Oh, pear, perfect. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Amazing. Pear juice. I think you can get pear juice in Australia in like a tin. I'm not sure that you can get it in like a bottle. I think it has to be tinned because it... But no, like interesting that it's not treated the same as apple juice. Or maybe it is and I just haven't seen it for a while. Mmm. Tasty. Look, fruit juice as a whole is delicious and so versatile. So versatile. One bad pills are interesting. If you check the ingredient label, you might find that the pills are made of konjac and not tapioca. Um, I found I found that a lot of the canned ones have konjac pills with like some coloring in them um, because they they don't go soggy. Because if you leave tapioca pills overnight, they just kind of congeal and get all stuck together and ugh, whereas konjac doesn't. Um, so that might be why they were a little bit different. Very different texture, but still not bad. Not 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 bad. Just different. Very different. Um, may I suggest bubble tea? Arizona half and half is by far my first favorite juice. Juice of Arizona. What kind? What fruit? What? Fr which fruits are juiced to make this juice, Shiba? Arizona half and half makes no sense to anyone outside of like North America. <laughs> do they like? Do they juice Arizona? <laughs> Oh goodness. What 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 fruit is in it? I'm curious. I'm not I'm not trying to just ridicule you, I promise. I'm I'm actually genuinely curious. Uh not a bad pick. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, are we talking fruit juice and apple all the way? What the hell else what What else could juice be? Carrot, cucumber, and mint juice, forget the brand. That's it, conjac. Yeah, and that's how you spell it, yeah. You're right. Cactus has to be in dirt. Cactus and dirt. Delicious and juice to me is like any sweet drink oh you are so incorrect oh my god absolutely not absolutely not <laughs> oh, I would have thought half and half was a milk thing it could be but I mean like if you're talking about if you're talking about fruit juice it could be like half apple half mango because I know like when you get like apple and mango juice often I mean it's not a half and half ratio usually it's like 95% apple 5% mango but you could technically have a juice mix be half and half and maybe there's one to particular flavor mix that's so common that everyone just calls it half and half like it's it's conceptually possible but no bug juice delicious grow delightful i hope you're having a fantastic day welcome in uh, monster is now a juice. Heard it here first. Or oh, half fizzy water. Arizona thing is half iced tea, half lemonade. Well, I call it juice because it's a sweet, non-carbonated drink. It's iced tea. <laughs> it's just flavored iced tea. Um, very much. No, I'm in the wrong. It's easy for me. Fair. Well, because we have like cordial, which is like a, a a syrup that is fruit flavored, but it's like f like it's mostly sugar. Um, and you uh, you pop a little bit of that in a glass or a jug and then top it up with water. It's like one part cordial to nine parts water. Um, some of them are ultra concentrated. Uh, sorry, that's like the concentrated, concentrated ones. Some of them are a little bit like diluted. So it's like one part cordial to five or four parts water. Um, so the cordial is a syrup, but we still call the mixed up drink cordial as well. Uh, and then of course there's iced tea. Wow, I've been talking for so long. Wow, is kicking me out. Um, let's play, shall we? Uh, <laughs> oh no. Um, and yeah, like then there's, then there's juice, which is like fruit juice that has come from f crushing or juicing fruit, depending on how you want to, you know, say it. Um, and then you have like fruit drink, which is made with fruit juice, but it's like 25% fruit juice. And the 75% is made up of like water and sugar and possibly flavorings and colorings and stuff like that. Um, but then, yeah, so we have like 100% juice, which is supposed to be, you know, your natural sugars and stuff like that. And then you've got 
like fruit drink which has added sugars and things um and there's cordial uh and then there's like iced tea which has got like a tea base um with flavoring and so it's like basically kind of like a cordial that's pre-mixed and has a tea based rather than just a sugary syrupy thing um and then there's bubble tea obviously if you call bubble tea juice i'm gonna hurt you um <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, it's, there's, I, there are lots of different types. I'm trying to think if there's any others that I might have missed. I'm sure people in chat will give me informations. Cordial isn't juice though as much as they try to market it as juice. Yeah, look, fruit-based beverage. Cordial is liquid Kool-Aid. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's exactly it. Liquid Kool-Aid. Then you've got, yeah, you, you, oh, and then there's like Powerade, Gatorade. So there's sports drinks, like electrolyte drinks that have a higher... Um, higher portion of salt in them to try to replenish your body's electrolytes and they are packed full of sugar because athletes who need that also need the sugar for recovery and so general people who drink that stuff without being like an athlete are just no it's so unhealthy um But yeah, no, it's it's really like I was recommended to have Powerade stuff after surgery. Like that's yeah, uh, and hydrolyte and stuff like that is is better for like you know when you're battling quite severe hydration, uh, dehydration. Sorry, <laughs> battling severe hydration. Yeah, good. Well done, fear. Words are hard. <laughs> I may contain traces of fruit. Yeah, maybe. Ah, uh, no, I need to be back soon. So shouldn't bubble tea be carbonated? No. No, the bubbles, so, um, people usually use the, the bubble thing to refer to, like, the toppings, the pearls, the popping pearls, the jellies, that kind of stuff. Um, but I was always told that the bubbles, like, bubble tea was because when you, like, traditionally, you make it in, like, a cocktail shaker, and you have your tea, and you have your ice, and you have your syrups, and you have your sugar, and then you put your lid on, and then you shake it up like a like a cocktail, and then as you pour it out, it's kind of got that fine sort of like the little bubbles on top from all the the vigorous movement, um, and that was what the bubble tea was because it's not just tea; it's tea that has been shook up with a bunch of stuff, hence oh, the bubbles. Then, yeah, um, but better. most people seem to just like describe the. Yeah. Um, toppings with it to but you can have bubble tea without toppings so that way that's why it makes more sense to me for the the shaky shaky bubbles but whatever that's all right as long as we all know what we're talking about that is what we should uh yep drink so many drinks had electrolyzed in it during my time in disneyland oh i can only imagine i can only imagine you probably felt better for it too hey I mean, severe hydration can be a thing. It absolutely can. Water poisoning is real, especially in, li in like in little kids, like little, little, little kids. Like I'm talking like babies. Um, water poisoning is very, very serious thing. Today. Um, forever battling hydration. Oh, I am winning the war, Seeker. I am winning the war. Felt great in my body, felt bad in my wall. Oh, I can, yeah. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they wouldn't have even let you, like, I imagine that they were like, um, like water bubblers or water fountains or whatever you want to call them. You know, places where you can push a button and water comes out that's drinkable, portable. Um, I imagine that there were spots like that where you could fill a bottle, but they probably wouldn't let you take, like, Gatorade, Powerade, sachets in with you. So, like, dump that in your bottle and fill it up with the water so that you can do that without having to pay through the nose for it. They just wouldn't let you bring anything in because, hey, it could be drugs. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of gross how in those sort of places where it is a monopoly, they just, they, they jack up prices through the roof. Ah, uh, well. Um, so, news. I have five tunes left to get through Maljaxxus. Five can count on a single hand. Which is awesome. Uh, California water is disgusting regardless of if it's from the filter or not, sadly, at least to my water sensitive taste buds. Fair. Fair. Well, I can, like, I, I tap water from 
Brisbane is just nasty. Um, most places that I've been, the tap water is just not palatable. It's potable, but it's not palatable. Um, and, like, Melbourne is basically... I, I have been to Tassie, but not, like, recent enough for me to remember um, what the water tasted like. But from memory, I can only just bear Melbourne water. Um, but anywhere else is just gross. Um, if you're after streaming over here, I need to talk to you about something. I say this now because I will forget. Okay, what I need you to do, Seeker, um, is send me a Discord DM. Because then I will see the notification after streaming and go, Oh, what's this? And then click it. At least I know, at least I know how my brain works these days, right? I'm getting better. Uh, luckily Canberra's usually really good tap water. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I had, um... I'd probably just, like... I mean, I, I don't have a filter on our tap here, but I do have, a like, a Brita jug um, that we just kind of fill up. In the last few months of all the rain. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, not great. The AF, my preference is very, very good. Tasty tap water, I'm spoiled AF. When it comes to that, fair. Fair enough. I'll do that. Perfect. Oh, excuse me. Um, I do- I'm in combat, I'll be- I'll be stream readering in a second. Um, I do have a few things I need to get done after stream, um, so I won't be able to be around for too, too long, but, um, we'll see what I can do. Uh, oh my gosh, where's the game? Sand, Mara, Paul, meaty congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done! Well done. Boss defeated, on to the next map! I'm gonna go for that skin check. Oh. It keeps, it doesn't, it keeps having them be like unknown ones, so I can't check what skins I don't have. It's frustrating me. Um, hello Kim, have you made an announcement? I have, I have, we have a new sponsor. Fractal Design, they do cases and cooling and fans and all that kind of related shenanigans. Um, and they, their stuff is beautiful. Like it's genuinely absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, super exciting news. Hope you're doing well today. Welcome back. Right, place those units. Amazing. Yes, absolutely. So super amazing. And I'm so thankful that there are brands out there who uh, consider me worth investing in, you know? It's awesome. So I'm, yeah, very, very happy about that. Uh, soon TM, I will have some products to unbox and show you. This one is um, starting off as a six month contract with the potential to become ongoing depending how we go, depending on the results, of course. <laughs> you would make quite the suitable vessel. Have you been keeping up with your rituals? Okay, and we're not going to do the dungeon quest because we don't do those. <laughs> I just, oh, I just cannot be bothered. Too much effort. Yeah. Was once rich with anima. Like go. Me. Ah, oh, Mike! So well. Thank you so much for the resub. I hope you're doing well today. Four months. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it's already been that long. Far out. Goodness gracious. Onwards. No longer prime, but paid sub. Yes. Well, I hope you don't forget to use your prime each month um, somewhere around Twitch. 
make sure you're supporting as many creators as you can, all that kind of stuff. Big chop chip smarty biscuits out of the oven. Another batch seeker? Goodness gracious. Gotta say, a little bit jealous. Although, Jas and I made our freak shakes today, and I think I have had enough sugar for a while. <laughs> they were so rich. They were delicious, but so rich. Uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram to see the video and photos tomorrow morning. Hello, Yori. Well done on last. You are here. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Oh dear. It has been a big weekend. Wonderfully. Oh, good. I'm so glad to hear that. That is fantastic news. Well, I'm two days behind on my leveling for anyone who uh, cares. <laughs> Um, two days behind currently, but I'm hoping that we'll be able to catch that up today and maybe get a day ahead, but we'll see. We will see. And next weekend is going to be enormous. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that we are going to get a fair bit ahead next weekend. Hopefully. Gosh, that would be lovely. Really lovely. Oh, if, in case you've forgotten... Uh, next weekend is the uh, Fears Phone Fundathon. We'll have a, a link to Throne and we'll have a crowdfunding bar on the screen and contributions towards a new phone for Fear. Uh, we'll push the timer longer for a maximum. Of 36 hours spread over three days Saturday Sunday and Monday and if we max it out there gets a new phone phone for fear bad fingers totally fine I mean phone five fear also has the alliteration so I'm okay with it <laughs> I like the five version yeah right phone five fear it's fine it's fine it's your big big weekend it is Oh, my lord. There have been a couple of times this weekend where I have described what my calendar looks like from now to the end of October. Soon, hopefully, I will be able to tell everyone what's going on with that, but I'm just... Oh, Lord. <laughs> and then, at the end of October, we're expecting PTR, not PTR, pre-patch to happen. And then, yeah, look. And then it'll be Dragonflight. And then it'll be Lovers in the Air. It's getting to that point of the year again when I'm, when I'm saying, it's not gonna calm, out, calm down until March. And last year when I was saying that, it's not going to calm down until March. Then there was Clash of the Creator that hit. And just all of the, like... It just... look. Oh no, wait, because I was like... Oh god, look, time is... time is fiction. Ah, uh, middle am leveling full steam hairs and get them done by the end of October. Yeah, I am, like, looking ahead, I have less and less and less time to be able to level. So, part of me is hoping that we cap out at 36 hours, because I need a new phone. The other part of me is hoping we cap out at 36 hours, because that's 36 hours of leveling. In a weekend. Like... If it's taking me approximately an hour per ding, roughly, like a little bit less than that, but it's taking me somewhere around an hour per ding 
So 36 hours is 36 dings, which puts us at 18 days, because it's roughly two dings per day of progress as well. So that'd be 18 days of progress. Still not enough, <laughs> but it's it's a, enough of a head start that I might conceivably get closer than I thought I would. I got another mage through time walking yesterday. I have 14 tunes to go. Probably going to suck it up and do more time walking tonight before raid. See if I can get another to 60. Absolutely. Absolutely. Give me something to play. I am kind of like... I think the only reason time walking was faster for me on Friday was because I was targeting tunes that would guarantee ding with one dungeon. How do you I think if I was to actually way? work through them, I think it'd go a bit slower, uh, especially with the queue times we were seeing uh, on DPS and stuff. Uh, but it depends on the person. Like I've run Maldraxxus that many times that every time I do it, I'm shaving a few minutes off kind of thing, uh, unless I stop to chat, you know, unless we have a fear talk, uh, but yeah. Why have you interrupted? Time walking the queue time is just too um Speak up, soldier. Too variable for me personally. But that's okay. Um for some people doing time walking is so much more enjoyable than questing, and when you're enjoying it, it goes faster. Report. At least it that feels like it does, so yeah. For you but having having those time walking dungeons on one or two characters does mean that there may be there's there's a chance that they're not going to have to do much of like they might not have to do Revendreth. Um Has your but we'll see. Target today? see. I'm gonna get there first. You look oddly hailed today. Uh, I'd like to point out in 36 hours will be at least six hours of chat rant crying and thank yous. Yeah, look. You're not wrong. So, okay, like 15 days of progress. And that's still like two weeks in one weekend. That's not bad. I would not be angry at that. Any progress is more than I had the day before. I feel the same when I'm leveling Shadowland Zones too. Yeah. I love the time walking. Wasn't leveling though. I was glad to top DPS charts a few times. Fantastic. Awesome. Yeah, look, time walking is a lot of fun. Um, time walking is great fun. It's unfortunately. When you're running out of time, you gotta prioritize. But yeah, time walking is a whole lot of fun. A whole lot of fun. I actually enjoyed tanking a couple times too. I mean, I like I was having stuff pulled off me like a lot. But um I'm not a very good tank, but it was still fun. Being able to control the pace. Keeping an eye on my healer, making sure they had enough mana. It's good fun. Trying to be a good a good player. <laughs> oh dear. Well, the goal for today is 70%. And we're at 69.44. So I think it'll take me a couple of tunes. Because I'm two days behind, so it should take me two tunes to get there, I think. Because each tune should ding twice in Maldraxxus. So two tunes will get me two days. I'm you you pick up patterns like when you have your own thing with all your milestones, you start to learn how much leveling you have to do to get a day's worth of percentage. Well, aggro doesn't happen often as a ranged caster, yeah. Yep. It it used to. <laughs> for those of you who remember the uh, waiting for three sunders, it used to happen a lot. But not so much anymore. Once they once they adjusted the threat um, modifiers and things like that that are built into classes, it uh, it stopped happening. It can still happen, but very rarely. It's mostly in like you know mythic plus sort of scenarios where you're pulling eight things, and you know one of your DPS pops all their cooldowns and focuses one thing that you haven't taunted yet. Uh, well, if I pull a pack, it would harder to yank target off a tank. Yes. Yeah. I'm surprised I actually managed to get a couple pieces of um, transmog from time walking because I've got a lot of the 
basic stuff. No harm there. I am looking I'm looking very much forward to being done with leveling so I can start working on ATT again. <laughs> and then Dragonflight will be here. And then it's back to leveling. Great fun. Button exists for a reason. <laughs> Wait, did I do a... Did I grab the skulls from these two? I don't think I did. I didn't! Brilliant. Now I have. We're getting closer to a ding. I don't have any 55s left either. Seven. Seven left at 55, but two of them are facing N uh, Night Fae. Uh, Ardenwield. Which is weird. They mustn't have done Ex any extra stuff at all anywhere, so they're a bit behind. They might have to actually finish Revendreth and then do a tall gastron or something. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see when they when they get there. Just first step: get them all through Maldraxxus. Have a clean sweep of Ardenweald. Spend thirty six hours running Ardenweald. And that'd be fun. I know, I know. Um, the magic arrow of destiny tells us to. I've only done that once. Only once. Trees left. Oh, nice, meaty. That's awesome. You must feel so good about how far you're getting. Doing a fantastic job. Okay. I realize you could knock me off there. Oops. I might actually make it, yeah. Every so often I kind of, I'm like, ooh, maybe I'll make it, and then I look at my calendar and go, nope. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm, I'm gonna do my best. The closer we can both get, the better, right? All we gotta do is get as close as we can. Stock up while you can. What have you got to say? Ooh, an epic upgrade. I really do love doing this bit on a druid. <laughs> it's just so easy.
Okay, and now, potions. And out we hop. So much easier on a druid. Did everyone see we get a new public holiday this year on the 22nd of September? No. I'm assuming that's because of the recent death. Ah, oh, so it's like a one-off. Not like a, yeah, one-off public holiday. Okay, what day is that? It's a Thursday. I get a day off work. Oh my God, that never happens. Oh my God. <laughs> well, that's useful. <gasps> oh my God. So many possibilities. Holy cow. Sorry, it, it just... With how packed my schedule is, having 7.6 hours where I don't, like, where we're, like, freed up is just such a huge deal for me right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. And that'll be one hell of a memorial service to behold as well. Like, that is a, I, look, I would say a once in a lifetime happening, but I, I have a feeling we're probably going to see another one. But we'll see. Um... I'll keep swimming public holidays and days not attached to a goddamn weekend. No, it's because that's the day of the funeral, Jazz. If that's the day of the funeral, it's so that people can watch that. Um. Uh, welcome on in, Zulu. I hope you're doing well. Um, but no, uh, I'm not sure whereabouts in the world you're talking about, but in Australia. One-off public holiday declared to mourn the Queen on September 22nd. It's an official thing from our Prime Minister. So yes, it is guaranteed and it is happening in Australia. But if you're somewhere that is not Australia, it might be something different for you. Uh, so for Victorians, we have the 23rd off for Grand Final Weekend, 40 Weekend, no way! Off. Oh, the funeral will be 19th. Right, okay. Because it says here... Prime Minister Anthony Albanese says September 22nd will be a holiday to coincide with a memorial service for the Queen. Um, so I'm assuming that means that the memorial service is probably the 21st, potentially? Let me click this and get more information. Um... Let me die! There we go. Um, sorry, all I was saying, like, I, I, that's all the information that I had, so that was what I was assuming, um, but obviously I might be wrong. Give me just a second. Um... doesn't say. Uh, it does, yeah, so Queen Elizabeth II's funeral take place on September 19th at Westminster Abbey. It doesn't say 
to coincide with the- Oh! You know what? I've misinterpreted. It's a, a memorial service, not the memorial service. What I'm thinking is that funeral's gonna be the 19th, but in Australia on the 22nd, we will hold a memorial service. It won't be the funeral, it won't be the memorial service, but it'll be a memorial service in Australia that Australians can attend, and that's why we're okay. Awesome, my sincerest of apologies. I made some assumptions that I shouldn't have, and I obviously got the interpretation wrong as well. Thank you so much for correcting me. I really appreciate it, but there you go. That's what's happening in Australia, and that's when the funeral is. Okay, awesome. We've got all the information straightened out there. Fantastic. Thank you for your patience. I appreciate it. Uh, all right. Victorian's 23rd off a grand final weekend, 40 weekend. Probably memorializing her here on the 22nd. Yes, BBC UK says 19th for funeral, bank holiday the same in UK. Yeah, that's what I've got. There's an ABC .net.au, which is Australian Broadcasting Network, and they've got another article that says, yeah, Queen Elizabeth II's funeral to take place on September 19th at Westminster Abbey. Um, makes sense. Don't be silly, no need to say sorry. Well, no, I think, like, I think it's important that no matter how small we acknowledge mistakes that we make, you know? Um, it, it, getting in the practice of acknowledging when you do a boo-boo makes it a whole lot easier to be able to acknowledge when you make a bigger boo-boo, because it happens, we're all human. Like, <laughs> nobody's perfect, so I think it's a good idea to, to do, but I mean, obviously, uh, that's just my personal, what's it? Uh, but thank you, I appreciate it. Meat on your bones, huh? uh, good evening, Stang, welcome back. I hope you're doing well today. Uh, we're all human, seekers a bot. Look, you. <laughs> oh, dear. To clarify for anyone who is new here, Seeker is not actually a bot. The bot moderator is Koalatron. That is actually a bot. Um, yeah. Um, it went wrong technically. Different places we see. Different things to celebrate. On. Yeah, absolutely. You're right. You're right. My, my assumptions were incorrect, but I personally was not technically like... Got a plan. Wrong, wrong. Sheba's a Sheba in D prove it. Look, October. October. I cannot believe it is fewer than what four weeks to... until PAX. I am so excited. But there's like you would make so much happening between now and PAX. I can't even. I just. I just. I just. <laughs> <laughs> Ding! 56! Alrighty. Where's the number in the what's it? 69.65%, which gains us a day of progress. I am now one day behind. Wonderful. Wonderful. I read that as sheep as a salad, so we'll look, look. Define salad. Check posture. Check your own posture. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> That's what I think about that. No self sufficient on your base. Well done. Does that mean you can go AFK and do housework? Shiba lad. Yeah, look. That works. If if you were a salad, Shiba, if you were a salad, what would be in the salad? Yes, fantastic, Jess. <laughs> oh, I just realized this mistake. Mm -hmm. Crispy onions. Would it just be a pile of crispy onions? Is that it? Your housework, I should do some too. We have an inspection on Thursday. Yeah, so... Yeah, it's a thing. Just, okay, so a Shiba, a Shiba lad would be a pile of crispy onions. Fantastic. Converting poop into extra water. So you have a, 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 uh, waste... What's it, plant? Reclamation? Is it a waste reclamation plant, or is it... I don't remember. There's a word. Look, there you go. Dupe and I came across the same word, so I'm guessing it's probably the right one. 
I trust you. More than I trust my brain. <laughs> Something like that. Perfect. Oops, I moved too soon. <laughs> Hello, Scarlet. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> High praise. Look, it's it's not hard to have a better memory than I do. So, um... <laughs> Someone come and finish my meal prep for me. I'm bored and want to play WoW. Look. Uh, look. We, um, I, I did some shuffling of, uh, of the meal plan for this week. Uh, we've got cheese and tomato toast every day for breakfast. We have chicken sandwich, uh, chicken salad sandwich every day for lunch. Lots of bread. So that'll be easier to, uh, Jas is going to bake the chicken for the sandwiches when he makes dinner tonight. Uh, and then I'm just going to do a whole lot of, like, Chopping of cheese and tomato and stuff um, after stream. I'm gonna do like all the meal prep after stream. To believe that I just damaged my farm due to random poop water shenanigans. Fantastic. The limits hasn't defrosted, so I have an excuse to buy takeout. <laughs> Every day you're shuffling. Yeah, there yeah, pretty much. I love cheese. Cheese is delightful. Cheese is delightful. 117. No way, really? Holy cow, that's a big jump. Leveling, yeah, look. Everyday leveling would be good, because then I'd get, I'd actually hit my goal, but I just do not have time. Sounds like a late night. Yep. Unfortunately so. Yeah, it's, um... I've been, I've been unreasonably busy lately, so, yeah, I... I gotta do what I gotta do, right? Uh, Meaty Zem and Kim, congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. Did a dungeon. I dinged. Frostmage 57. Well done, Yori. Look at you go. Zoom it along. Welcome on in, Neri. Welcome back. Happy Sunday to you too. I've finished lunches. Still needed to finish dinners. Then prep and freeze. Illidan's Kongs. Fantastic. Um, we don't tend to pre-prep dinners. We just do breakfasts and lunches and then, um... Jas makes dinners and uh, and then we have like leftovers and stuff too. Hello Barry, thank you so much for dropping that socials command. How are you today? Hope you're doing well. Are you following Fee on her socials? You should be because tomorrow is chocolate milkshake day and Jas and I made chocolate freak shakes today and they looked stunning and they tasted even better but they were very much made of sugar and gave me a bit of a dummy ache. It's fine. It's fine. Monks, musketeers, and orc slayers. Who's the orc slayer? Where are we from musketeer? There they are, right next to each other. Phenomenal. Let's pop that one down. Yes, the point of me telling you about the chocolate milkshakes was that they're going on socials tomorrow morning. So you should definitely follow. Very look, yes! Very look, I have a new sponsor. I have a new sponsor. Mm, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I'm so excited. And there is more news coming, but I can't talk about it yet. Ah, <laughs> oh, embargoes will be the death of me, I swear. There is more news coming, but I can't talk about it yet. It depends on what dinner is. We're fish and salad, pushing the salads ahead. We're doing fish each night. That was a pretty so for the week. Ah, oh, nice. Fair enough. Fair enough. I think tomorrow I am finally going to order the big pizza I want with some cheesy bread on the side. Yas. Yum. 
love pizza. Too soon. Can you give me cheesy bread for this? Cheesy bread does sound delicious, but I'm going to get to have like tomato and cheesy bread every morning for breakfast. And garlic is a free food. So I could actually smear some garlic on it first and make it like garlic cheesy bread. I'm pretty sure garlic's a free food. We cannot talk about the NDA. We do not talk about the NDA. No, we don't. Well, we don't talk about what's in the NDA. <laughs> or what's covered by the NDA. Sometimes you're not even allowed to talk about the fact that the NDA exists. But sometimes you are allowed to say that there is an NDA. I just don't say who the NDA is for. <laughs> so I'm serious, I'm not relevant. Ah! We cannot talk about the end. No, yeah, okay, I fucked that up already. Never mind. Hmm. Sounds like Fight Club? Indeed. Indeed. I mean, look, sometimes it certainly fucking feels like Fight Club. Oh my god, so much stress. But it's all for a good cause. Little baby's tiny, teeny steps towards full time fear. Oh my god, when, when, when I go full time, I am absolutely making shirts that just say full time fear. Putting them in the merch store. <laughs> I don't even care if no one's, uh, I don't care if, if they don't sell. I want one. I will order a sample and that will be it. Uh. I think it was more like, 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 um, we cannot talk about the NDA. We do not talk about the NDA. Yep. But like, I totally butchered it. So it's fine. Oh, I have five. That's all I need. Perfect. <laughs> uh, Fractal. Yes, Fractal. Then my newest sponsor. And yeah, their cases are beautiful. They've also got their fans and cooling systems and all that kind of shenanigans. Uh, and soon, TM, I will have some of their product to show you to do unboxings and, and chit chat about what it can do for you and all that kind of stuff. But not just yet. They're still prepping some stuff. But they gave me the go ahead to announce as soon as I wished. And so I did because I, I don't like I don't like keeping secrets. I like doing that. Like, yeah. But anyway, sometimes we have to. This place I go to has a cheese sauce that you can get instead of tomato sauce. They put that on their cheesy bread too and it's so good. Ooh, that sounds delicious. I'm guessing it's probably like a white sauce, but like with extra cheese, yeah? Like a like a bechamel, except cheesy bechamel. Um, we seem to talk plenty about NDAs. Yeah, we just don't talk about the content of them or what they cover and stuff because this, this industry is tiny, especially, in, I mean, it's growing, but it's not... Like, it, it is just not worth breaking an NDA or breaking an embargo or anything like that. It's just not worth it. Because if you do, not only is that company never going to work with you again, because they can't trust that you're going to, like, even if you sign a document saying that you won't do it, they can't trust that you won't. Um, but word will spread. Because people talk to me, it's like, hey, have you ever worked with Influencer A? And it's like, oh, yeah, we did. Till they broke NDA. Oh... That's not good. And then they won't work. It's just, and, and people jump from company to company and they take those connections with them when they jump from, like they know, they, they don't lose their knowledge all of a sudden. But yeah, it is it is never, ever, ever worth breaking those kind of agreements. No matter, like, you know, it, it's not worth breaking it to be the first one to announce something or something like that, to, to have the breaking news. Not only are you stealing that moment from, you know, people who potentially worked for, for years and years towards that moment, but you also put yourself on blacklists. It's just not, yeah, don't do it. It's not worth it. Ah, uh, no such thing as fucking something up, said me. Okay. Hi everyone, hello Miko, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. That brain cell now, thank you. Can you skip, sorry, one brain cell song, yas. I don't know, it's like cheddar cheese sauce, not a white sauce. It's orange. Oh, goodness. Okay, interesting. 
Interesting. The only orange cheese that I have had that I have enjoyed um, has been like sun dried tomato infused cheese. <laughs> Every other like orange cheese that I've had has just not tasted right. I know, I know American cheese has colorant in it. Like I know it's dyed orange. I, I get that, but it's just not, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we've just been like, I, I do recognize that I'm coming from one hell of a place of privilege when it comes to talking about food because Australia, like we can pretty much grow almost anything and everything here. We can make almost anything and everything here. And so a lot of our food is uh, like super fresh, really easy to access, all that kind of stuff. And a lot of places in the world don't get that. Um, so yeah, I'm very much talking from a place of privilege and I recognize that but orange cheese is shit. <laughs> From my place of privilege, orange cheese is shit. Oh dear. Jeez, did you get a chance to look for a way to teach Barry? I make up. Yes, I do have a plan, but I it, it takes, it's gonna take me uh, having a spare hour or so to put something together for you, um, which, look. <laughs> I am actively searching for a, a, a chunk of time where I can sit down and, and put something together for you. Uh, but yes, and not only that, but if I do that for you, that also means that if other people ask me similar questions, I can just shoot off what I put together to them as well. Um, so it will be worth it. Uh, it's just a little bit of time investment, um, but we'll get there, we'll get there. Thank you for your patience. Um, yeah. Have you tried spray cheese? No, I have never tried spray cheese. I am a little bit afraid to. Like, I, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm afraid it will not be something that is tasty to me, but no, I have not tried it. Unless it's been included in something and I haven't realized. Like, there's very, there's every possibility that that has happened. I made OJ is 90% Australian water, the rest is imported. Wait, hang on. Like, so the 10% that's orange juice is imported, or are you talking about that like 10% of the water is imported? I, I'm, I'm sure this is a, a, a brilliant joke that's going straight over my head, but um, I'm sorry, can you ruin it by explaining it to me? There's a spreadsheet also doing stress about it. There's always a spreadsheet. No, there's, there's no, like, unfortunately you can't really teach art with a spreadsheet. I mean, you can teach spreadsheet art with a spreadsheet, because spreadsheets are art, can we just be honest? But, um, no, uh, makeup, I, I do know what I'm going to say, like, what I'm going to teach you, but I want to, I want to be able to demo it. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm basically gonna sit down and record a thing, um, and then send it through. Because that way you can, like see as well as like here and and all that kind of stuff and then you can like rewind it and if you you know what i mean like it's yeah and you can have it as a reference to go back to if you want it if it works for you um but yeah it shouldn't it shouldn't take me too long but it won't be like super unbelievably quick either um this is a spreadsheet. I've never tried spray cheese either. It kind of like, I don't know, it's, it'd be in, look, look, I wouldn't say no to trying it because like, you know, what is life if not a series of strange experiences, but yeah. I bought cheese in a can once. Once American friends who say spray cheese is good, but I doubt it. Can you get spray cheese in Australia? That's the next question. Cause like some of the stuff that is sold in America just isn't food and like you can't get it in Australia. Um, yeah, is spray cheese even a thing in Australia? I've never seen it, there you go. There you go, maybe, maybe in like, you know how you have those specialty like international stores where you can buy the whole range of flavors of Pop-Tarts and things like that. Maybe. Hello, Shy. Welcome back. Hope 
hope you're doing well. Try it for the novelty, I guess. Yeah, right? Like, and I mean, for the experience as well. Like, if it's trash, you just don't try it again. <laughs> Unless you've got an allergy to something in it, then, then it's not gonna hurt you, right? I'm on it. Perfect, dude. Perfect. It just isn't food. Like, some of it's not, alright? Some of it would not be considered food here. Not crazy enough to eat that. <laughs> oh, dear. Ah, <sighs> far out. I get this- I have this sinking feeling that after PAX is gonna be a video of Fia trying spray cheese. Well, thanks, trying to get over sickness is hanging on. How are you? I'm doing so very well. Thank you, Shy. I'm busy as all get out. I'm, like, operating at, like, a, a level of stress. It's not, like, I'm not losing my mind stress, but it's also not, like, at rest either. I'm just, I'm kind of... I think it's it's the right level of stress to kind of keep me moving, if that makes sense. You know how sometimes people just operate a little more efficiently when they have a baseline level of like gentle stress? I think that's where I'm at at the moment. So it's it's okay. Like I am I am happy where I'm at, but it's just like wanna get stuff done. Oh, excuse me. I see yeah, hello nurse, welcome back. I'm doing very well, thank you. Hope you could Excuse me, hope you can say the same. Yeah, I've got a lot of things to do. Um, but it's not so much that I'm never going to get it done. It is, I am, it is definitely possible I am capable of getting everything done. I just have to push. I just have to hustle. Prepare yourself. But if that's not what I've been doing for the past year and a half... Um, I don't know anything else. <laughs> okay, he's really busy. Yes, I know the feeling. Well, I hope it calms down for you soon. The harvest? Yeah, for sure. Well, fingers crossed it's all done in a, a timely manner and everything goes well. Hmm, starts to know the hamster in like 10 days. What is this madness? new belt. I'm gonna get going. 56. Oh, this is good. Six characters left at 55. Oh, thanks for advice last week, by the way. I managed to get my shaman to eye level 257. Oh, well done, Neri. Well, you're so welcome. I'm glad it helped. I'm glad it helped. I'm very happy to have my duvet back on my bed, though. No longer have weighted blanket due to cats and their problematic paws, so the bit of weight from duvet is nice. Yeah, for sure. I can imagine. Alrighty. Let's get these down with the slicey slicey. Blankets had one for about a year. One day I was sort of off under a bunch of little glass beads. Crack claws punctured holes just big enough for the beads to start falling out. Yeah. Yeah, that's... And they're not exactly comfortable when they're, um... 
wrapped in puncture proof stuff. <clears throat> Cause you can like there are there are those like rubberized or plasticky kind of um, fabrics that are like with cut rating, you know, the, the kind of stuff that they make uh, work gloves out of. They're flexible, but not comfortable to sleep with. Um, so I can only imagine making a bed cover out of one of those would uh, not be the most comfortable thing in the world. Mm. Hello, Cafro. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Enjoy the spreadsheet. Let us know if you've got any questions. It's, uh, it's a thing. It, this is, uh, for those of you who are in the Discord and part of the community and all that kind of stuff, this is not Jack's spreadsheet yet. I have not had time to transfer data. Um, but there is a spreadsheet in the Discord that is uh, a fair bit more multifunctional than mine is. Let's put it that way. <laughs> mine is pretty expensive too. Replacing it just wasn't in the budget. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's, you know, you're always able to stitch up a small hole, but if it's going to keep happening, then yeah, it's not worth it. Not worth it. Like, if, if I, for example, punctured a hole and found some glass beads, then I could stitch it up, but um, that's only because I'm not, you know, expecting to puncture it again. <laughs> How's your leveling going? Yeah, I'm a day behind currently, uh, but looking at the next six weeks of my calendar, I am going to be not doing so well. Um... I'm definitely feeling like I'm not going to make it, but that's okay. As long as I'm managing expectations, that's all good. It's pretty sure, but have you tried spray sheets? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. The orange one's from America. Yeah, nah. Oh dear. See, I read that as orange spreadsheets, and I was like, um... Thing is though, the holes are tiny little pinpricks. I could barely even find the source. I would love to sew it up, but it's hard when it's core holes. Um, you can get like fabric patches um, that are like stick on and they just stick straight up. So you don't have to sew, you just like seal it off. But again, if you if it's gonna, if there's going to be more punctures, you, you might end up with a whole blanket full of those patches, which though it could look really cool if you could get them in a bunch of different colors. Um, might not be the most comfortable thing. Um, I wish I could have a weighted blanket, but my OT said I won't be able to have one as we two of my back. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, definitely, like, it's it's always worth getting medical advice for those kind of things. Um, they're, they're quite expensive, so you don't want to get one and then find out it's going to harm you in some way. Um, different way to ones, differently listen to you. Professional, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, is there a point where you have to make a call that you won't get them all done and focus on this having as many 60s as possible ready for the event? Um, possibly. Possibly. The, I think, though, that, like, depending on how close we get, and then keeping in mind that pre-patch will likely have some kind of leveling bonus... And then even if it doesn't, there is the anniversary event coming up where you'll get like an 18% bonus. I, I, yeah, so there's, there's likely going to be a point where that becomes a, a question I have to ask. But I don't have like a date set for it. Um, it's going to keep shifting, especially considering that we've got a potential 36 hours worth of stream coming up next weekend. Um, of course, that we may not get to 36 hours. It, it may be that um, we don't fund it all the way, and so it ends up being 24 or, or 12 or even less, and that's totally okay, you know. Uh, but I'll have to see how that goes and then see how everything else manages. I don't think I'm going to be able to make that call until November um, at the very earliest, and even then we've still got the bonus events and stuff coming up. But yeah, it, it may well get to a point... Um, it may well get to a point where most of them are looking at Revendreth and I'll prioritize, instead of going from the top and the lowest level, I'll just go from the bottom. Um, 
But that's okay. We'll see when we get there. But yeah, you, you're absolutely right. There, there will be. Um, I just, I'm unsure how I'm going to quantify that. Because it's kind of difficult, hey. Um... I agree, I didn't want to buy it and it will hurt me for sure, for sure. I had 25 pound weighted blanket, it was so heavenly. Uh, really sucked on sheet change day, having to lug it around and move it off my bed. Yeah, I, um, I, when I'm, when I'm changing sheets and stuff like that, I tend to straighten it all out as though I'm making the bed and then like pull it over to fold it that way and then pull it over and just keep folding it until it's like arm carryable and then I just kind of get my arms under it and then like put it on my chair here and then like, yeah, because <laughs> then that way I can also you know, pop it straight back where it was and then unfold and unfold and unfold and unfold and it's exactly where it should be sort of thing. Um, but I'm one of those people, so. <laughs> uh, will we be getting the Frostbrood Proto Worm mount? Yes, absolutely. I'm a mount collector. I will 100% be getting that mount. Um, when that happens and whether or not it happens on stream are questions that I have not answered yet um, and cannot answer yet but we'll see how we go but yeah no um there's no end date on it it doesn't say in pre-patch or anything like that there's uh the article that they released specifies no end date whatsoever uh so i don't think i have to stress about it too just yet i mean like the the hearthstone promotional mount is still obtainable and that's been literally years and years and years in fact how long has that been i got it in 2015 it has been an, a, a thing for seven years. Like, do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah. I imagine it'll be there for a while. But we'll see. We'll find out. Ah, uh, wait a blanket of that heft is amazing flat out on the bed. Really awkward to actually pick up and move. Yep, absolutely. Ah, uh, dinner ordered, Lamel. I did finish the chores of the day. House is ready for the week. Fantastic. Amazing work. Well done. Yeah, Freddy's ready. Fantastic, Barry. Enjoy your food. Oh, I see. I could... Oh, you got it last night. Fantastic. Congratulations. New retail met yesterday during Wrath. Brilliant. Yep, lots of people have been getting it over the last couple of days. Pretty sure here is a store man is still obtainable too, isn't it? Uh possibly. What's that one? Uh Ah, owner of the Primal Flames have come out from Heroes of the Storm. Yeah, I got that one in 2017. I'm not sure if that's still available, but possibly. Possibly. But yeah, those kind of cross-promo things, they tend to... Because the thing is, like, if somebody discovers the game at any point, they're going to want to try to get them across into their other games as well. Like, the cross-promotion is, is such a good way to, to introduce new players to all those different franchises. The Red Room is today. Class experience feels so different. It is a, it's a totally different game. Hey, the core, the core like facts are the same. The lore is is pretty much the same, but like, ah, oh, the game is such a different game. Such a different experience. Flame saber mount. Yeah, limited time only mount. Oh, was it? Okay, there you go. So you can't get that primal flame saber anymore. Yeah, that one was a limited. What's it? Um. But yeah, I'll definitely be keeping my eye out. If they do introduce an end date for the promotion, then, you know, I'll be getting my, getting, getting a wriggle on. But um, at this point, I have higher priorities.
continue re-releasing the X-Packs and Classic? When would be the time to stop, I wonder? That is a really good question. I, I don't know. I imagine as long as there's enough of a player base for them to justify the salaries of people who are on Classic full-time and, you know, people who are, are working on... I, I imagine that there's some crossover. There are some people who work on both. Uh, but as long as they can continue to justify those salaries and the, the man hours and stuff. Wrath will be a really big one though, I think. Like BC was big because it was like the first expansion, but Wrath was Wrath was huge. Like no matter, like I know there were a few people who didn't enjoy Cataclysm and stuff like that, but um nothing, no matter what that next expansion was going to be, it would never have come close to touching Wrath. Because just because of that nostalgia draw. Um, so it will be interesting to see, like, it, it also fascinates me that they're closing BC servers or turning them into Wrath servers, whereas when they released BC, they had both. So it makes me wonder if the BC servers weren't as successful and so there's not the justified cost in keeping them open. And so they're moving on to Wrath and then maybe if they open up Cata servers, they'll keep Wrath servers if there's, do you know what I mean? Like... I, I imagine that they have some kind of internal algorithm that tells them whether or not something is a success or not. Uh, but yeah, it's it'll be really interesting to see where they go. Oh, go through for some through tie in. Well, that's the nostalgia draw that I was talking about. Um, yeah, that's that's exactly what I was saying. Yeah, uh, classic cat. I could see after that, it's getting much closer to the current game experience. I think there are less people than inviting the older content over retail, potentially. But the thing is, by the time we get to a MOP release, we're going to be on an 11.0 release. Uh, sorry, we're going to be on a 12.0 release by the time we get to MOP. So it will still be that much time. So, you know, maybe it will be. I mean, I know, like, for example, Jas started playing in Mists of Pandaria. Um, so for him, that might be, you know, when, when I, I played BC Classic and did the, the Blood Elf starting area because that was my first steps into Warcraft, into, into WoW, was BC. So for him, he might get that same nostalgia draw because he joined during MOP. So it, yeah, it's, it's... It feels like it's super recent now, but by the time we get through four years, like, you know, assuming two years of Wrath Classic, two years of Cata Classic, into mob that's four years from now it may feel like longer ago potentially um it'll just it'll take time to see and uh it'll be obviously up to blizzard in the end whether or not they do that but yeah it'll be interesting um especially since bc is going away with the launch of wrath it makes me wonder if they're going to go through all the x-packs again 14 years has been so uh, i mean nothing is stopping them from releasing classic with retail yeah absolutely absolutely Um, hello, Zet. Welcome back. Mara, this raid won't ever get close to the current game. They can re-re-release TBC one more time on Classic Classic servers later. <laughs> Blizzard have already confirmed Wrath will be last Classic. I could be wrong. Yeah, if you've got some reference for that, that would be good, because I haven't heard that at all. Um, I, I didn't. And, I like, I mean, I watched the, the announcement stuff, and I, I read a, a bit of the things, but, like... Yeah, I, I definitely didn't hear that anywhere. But if you've got a like, if you've got a link for it, that'd be awesome. Uh, Mikluse, Cade, Meaty, and Zem, congratulations to all of you on your ownership. Well done. I mean, I wouldn't mind it because I started in Shadowlands. It's been fun uh, to run the older content with people playing it as current. Yeah, playing current retail and classic as timelines go. It's been interesting. Oh, I can imagine, Timo. I can imagine. Um, can I place an Oxley yet? No. I can't place a Musketeer yet, but I can place a Monk. Here we go! Wonderful. 
Uh, there'll always be a 14 year gap between classic and retail if they release classic with retail. Yeah, I kind of honestly assumed that they would like alternate years personally, but it's um not at the moment. Maybe that'll change in the future. But uh Hmm. I do see what Mara's saying in terms of like it's like Mop is closer to what the game is like today. Like Wrath and Shadowlands are two very different games. Mop and Shadowlands are closer to the same game than the others. I mean, they're still not the same game, but it's closer to the same game than it was prior. But I think once we go into Dragonflight and we go back to the different talent trees and we like have that big shake up again, I think Mop will be closer. Like Mop and Dragonflight won't be so similar anymore. And Mop might be even more different from whatever comes after it. We just don't know, obviously. One expansion at a time. Um, <laughs> But yeah, like who knows? Who knows? The only way we'll find out is to just let time keep ticking on, I think. Um, Wrath and Cata were the biggest difference. It was a very big shift when those expansions hit. Although I, I would also say that when we went from Mop into Wad, that was a big that was a big shakeup. A really big shake. That was the the, you know. Pretty sure what was the the big pruning and stuff wasn't it like so many classes just changed it was when survival went melee it was like all those big shifts happened when we hit wad um but yeah it's it's really interesting to see how much the oh my goodness learn to spell there we go big diff big differences between expansions it's really been interesting to see how the game has evolved over time how's it people figuring out when they've never played classic yep Yep, can't find any info from any dev saying classic stops with Wrath, just theories from players. Ah, yeah. Yeah, sometimes there, there are definitely some moments where players speak with such authority that it's almost as though they got the information from a blue post. Uh, but it is always real, yeah, really important to make sure that they're getting, they're, they're not just theorizing and that they're getting the information from a, an actual source. Uh, I'd say what was more the transition to modern WoW than Mop was. Yeah, there were some big ch there were some big changes in Mop, but then there were some enormous changes in WoW, and then like it's just each expansion has brought some big shifts recently. Um, but yeah, look, who knows what the future will hold? I think Decada is when talents changed, started getting different bars other than mana, etc. Change to after Wrath Classic, skip category straight to Mop. Cato was good, I am. I enjoyed it personally. Yeah, everyone has different, and this is the other thing like, everyone has such different feelings about the different expansions, too. Um, I don't think it'd be possible for them to skip anything. I th like, especially when it comes to, you know, giving players storyline. There are players who are experiencing Classic for the first time. Um, like, they, they haven't played it before. It's not a nostalgia trip for them. They're genuinely playing the game as it is now for the first time. Um, so having those big jumps in story for them would just be jarring. Oh, I never did get the achievement from dying to Deathwing in the open world. Oh, no. Uh, changes Kata brought were great, but boy, did people burn out in Kata. Yeah, I think it was the end of Cataclysm that people kind of... It... it altered the flavor of the rest of the expansion for them. Um, so my first nice ever to get that. I liked to cut overall. God, remember the first message was a pop-up in game. Yeah, uh-huh. I do, I do. First expansion I disliked was WOD. Fair enough. Fair enough. I started streaming in WOD, so I'm like, it definitely holds a very fond place in my heart. Um, and I loved the garrisons. I know that a lot of people didn't. But I really loved the garrisons. Uh, they suited my playstyle to a T. Um, there were so many things to collect, and and that was really when I started diving into collecting properly. And yeah, so yeah, what what will always hold a place in my heart. But I mean, all of the expansions do for me. That's the thing. There's like I, they're very different. They've all been quite different, and I've loved them all for different reasons. But there hasn't been an expansion that I have disliked. So I know that's a 
facts and unpopular opinions sometimes and in some circles and that's okay. No one has to agree with me. That's why it's an opinion. It's it's mine and mine alone. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I didn't play in vanilla though. I only played, I, I started playing at the very beginning of Burning Crusade, so. Um, I have no opinions on vanilla. <laughs> uh, but for all of the expansions, yeah, I've really enjoyed myself. Same. Oh man, all the amazing criticisms in the dragon soul, yep. Doing at the moment, leveling! Lots and lots of leveling that I am uh, working on my army of level 60 tunes. Uh, but left a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths. Memory isn't strong enough to have a good opinion, but I do remember not being a fan. Yeah, um, a lot of it was around the fact that it didn't feel like an MMO anymore because everyone was just holed away in their garrisons and, and so much of the end game content was just like tunnel away in your own little place. Um, the world didn't feel as big and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I mean, I'm sure there were further criticisms than that, but that was the big one that I remembered. Because I remember thinking, oh, I like it. Oh no. <laughs> uh, but you know, that's the thing. There's always like, um, always gonna be people who like something that you don't like and that's all right. That's totally fine. Oh, but I was like 10 years old trying to find quest objectives from the text took me six months to get to 60. Well done, look at that. But you got there. That's a hell of an achievement. That's amazing. So cool. What was the first expansion? I was alone, didn't have a friend group though, so it's a bad memory associated. Yeah, fair. It, it is definitely like, WoW is so much more fun with friends. Uh, and I think it always has been. I'm convinced I'm still in Classic for the Mount. Do it. 5.5 Mabips. Wonderful. Uh, what was the great expansion? They just took too long to release the next one. Yeah, there was there was a lot of burnout. Um, there was a lot of people burning out because that last patch was just so long. And I, I feel that. Like, I, I completely understand that I was uh, leading a guild at that point. And we had a lot of people drop out just because they couldn't do it anymore. They were just, they were over it. And that's fair. That's, you know, understandable. But, uh, I didn't mind it. I guess I had like the, the back end guild management to kind of keep me busy and that was when I had started streaming so I was doing other stuff associated with it and that so it didn't affect me as much as it would have affected others. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I absolutely can understand that. And that's that's the thing, like if you're not enjoying a game anymore, um, don't play it. And that's not me being a like, well just don't do it. It's not, I'm genuinely saying you deserve to have fun. I deserve to not die, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> you you deserve to have fun. You deserve to f have something that you can do during your leisure time that you enjoy. And so if a game is no longer bringing you joy, to use a, you know, now it's a cliched phrase. If a game is no longer bringing you joy, you are allowed to stop playing it. There is no shame in stopping to play something, even a, an enormous game like WoW with so much invested time. You are allowed to take a break. You are allowed to step away for a few months and, and explore other hobbies or games or whatever it happens to be. And just because you've taken a break, that doesn't mean you're not allowed to come back. Just because you've taken a break doesn't mean that that break has to end. Genuinely, and I, I mean this with my whole heart, you deserve to enjoy what you're playing. And so if you are no if you get to a point with, with a game, any game, not just WoW, but any game or patch or expansion or whatever it is, to, if you get to a point where you're feeling burnt out, you have permission to go and try something different. There is no shame in that, none at all. And it, it breaks my heart to see people struggling and, and trying to force themselves to keep playing when they're clearly just not having fun. Um, but yeah, I, I hope that, I hope that you guys know that it is okay to, to stop if you, if you want or need to. And that goes for any activity. Um, like to their class design philosophy took a turn. I wasn't fun playing the game at the time and that's reasonable. Totally fine. I think I got 35k achievement points by having fun. I mean, I did. 
Oh, do I have 35k? No, 33. Getting there. Not quite there yet, but... Oh, I absolutely have fun doing that. <laughs> if you're not having fun, then why are you doing it? Hello, Trud. Welcome back. Doing well, thank you. I hope you can say the same. People's time is valuable. Don't waste it if you're not having fun. Agreed. Wholeheartedly, Timo. Well put. Uh, the Grip WoW has on me right now. Uh, Grip WoW has on me right now is going to disappear for a while when I start playing Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm not letting myself play it till I'm finished commissions because I know I'll hyperfixate in no life. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Well, I'm sorry to have added to that pile, Sheebs. Oh, if I had known. If you want me to, like, tell you what to... I, no, I sent you a... Did, I think I sent you a screenshot of what I ended up with so like you know you know which ones are like higher on the priority list yeah it's just there's yeah perfect um in three days well i think that's probably a personal opinion girl I think that if someone's enjoying it, then they're allowed to do that, regardless of how other people may rate it. Uh-huh, sure. Um, what do you think is the quickest way to level 50? Uh, whichever way you enjoy most. Uh, because if, if the quickest way is something that you just don't enjoy doing, then it will drag and drag and drag and drag and drag. Um, so whatever, what it, whatever you're having the most fun doing is gonna at least feel like the quickest way. There are so, so many ways to level now. Um. Power of the inner horse, go with the ship of crawl. I'm chilling on Sunday. Fantastic. I hope your Sunday continues to be chill. Doesn't agree. Don't think I've completed an expansion since TBC. I have not played at the start or end in everyone since. Only played Shadowlands last four weeks after pre ordering it. Ah, oh, they go. There you go. But yeah, look, uh, if you're having fun, keep playing. Doesn't matter if someone thinks it's shit or it's a dead game or, or whatever, you, th you know, whatever the flavor of the month phrase happens to be. If you're having fun, that's all that matters because it's your time and you are in charge of how you spend it. Um, so yeah, don't, don't feel like you have to, but also don't feel shamed away from something you enjoy either. Uh, you know what, it's better without context, happy news. Virginia's good use of time. Fantastic. I'm nourished. Okay. All right. All right. Perfect. Um, hey, Akia. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well today. Stuff. Yes. Shiba's art is amazing. Just saying. I had fun once. It was terrible. <laughs> oh, God, Neri. Oh, dear. You got exalted with Orgola. Yeah, pretty sure. I've got exalted with most of the old uh, reps. Uh, not on this tune. Um, I should still say completed though, right? In the... um, yeah, I've only got two reputation achievements missing. Um, and where are they? I think they're PvP based ones from... Oh no. Ah yeah, yeah. Death's Advance and Enlightened. So yeah, I've got every other reputation achievement except Death's Advance and Enlightened. So, yeah. If Ogrela has an achievement, then it'll be done. Where really you found that fun? I wouldn't have done it if I didn't. That I I do I don't have enough time ever <laughs> to play shit that's not fun. If I'm not enjoying something, this is why I have that many PvP achievements. Because I don't enjoy PvP, so I don't play it. So I don't have the achievements. <laughs> it's very simple. I'm, I'm not sure how you're struggling to understand this concept, but uh. <laughs> um. Artists in the wild, yas! Absolutely, if only doing it daily. Well done, go you! Well, if you're not enjoying it, I hope that the grind is over as soon as it can be. 
and that it is worth it in the end. Ah, oh, fantastic! Wonderful. Well, I hope you're making better progress than I am. <laughs> I hope you're doing far better than I. I think from the video game. Blasphemy, I know, right? How dare. Has there been any other games besides WoW that you've consistently played and enjoyed? Um, well, no, because other games finish. Other games have an ending. Um, I have been playing Final Fantasy XIV a fair bit lately. I've had a, a, a couple of series of sponsored streams and I'm thoroughly enjoying that. Uh, but I haven't played it uh, off stream, basically, just because I haven't had time. Um, but other games, I don't really play them consistently because they have an end. Um, and once I finish the, the story and then finish getting all the achievements, I don't really get much out of it anymore. It's like... What do I do now? Um, but yeah, I uh, these days, for the last couple of years, I, I haven't had any real kind of leisure time. And leisure time that I have had, I, I've spent like with, with friends or family or uh, going out and you know, having food, you know, going to a restaurant or something, a cafe, something like that. Um, oh, did I miss one? I must have. So yeah, it's um, if I haven't played it on stream, I haven't played it, basically. Uh, yeah, and I have got um, I started uploading my vods to YouTube January of this year. So there's an entire thing of vods on YouTube, f like chronologically from January. For you, um, it would be my so yeah, if it, if it's not there. And I haven't played it. Um, yeah. Ten points of dopamine. It's a bit that way sometimes, hey. Uh, hey, Gems. Are there more sponsored Final Fantasy XIV streams coming, or is that classified? Um, I have one booked for Monday, tomorrow. Uh, and that is I the last someone. one in this series that I am. Ah! Anonymous Gifter, thank you so much for dropping that gifted sub. On Akia, much appreciated. Um, so yeah, I, I have one coming up tomorrow, and that's the last one in this series. Um, I'm not. I haven't been asked to do any further than that, but that's not to say that they won't. Um, you know, like never say never, you know. But um, as far as I'm aware tomorrow is the last one uh, but this is the second series so then, then maybe they'll come back at a later date and ask me for another set or something but I'm yeah I'm definitely not going to get into the habit of assuming because that's uh that's not a it's not ideal oh Tehran died how did that happen you have my there we go I mean, for stay classy, guild achievement is my goal, and this is my own. Ah, fantastic! Same thing that Meaty's doing. Meaty's been doing stay classy as well across uh, their two accounts. May I tempt you with my way? Okay, my members also solar granny. Yes, we do. That's Meaty. Uh, I'm enjoying leveling the allied races to unlock the heritage armor sets, especially now that Shadowlands is essentially finished. That is a fantastic goal as well. Wonderful. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun, and just having them unlocked. Is, is super useful because then if you want them you've got them kind of thing uh, and the the armor sets are pretty cool too it's always worth having a few extra at, at level they come in handy yeah, midi bones yes good day hey build had a great day i have i've had a wonderful day so far thank you so much for hoping i thought i hope that you can say the same i hope you're going well of Ash beating Cynthia. I have no idea. I'm assuming you're talking about Pokemon because those are the only it's the only fandom that I know that where those two names are both included and I don't I don't know. I haven't watched Pokemon uh, I, I didn't watch it as a kid 
because uh, we were in a no TV before school home, because uh, that's just, that's the rule. All goods and um, for so I've never actually watched it. Um, so I could not give any fewer fucks. <sighs> right. You there, stop that. There we go. Right, that one. Path, right, 57. And we're going to go finish off Maldraxxus now, which means that you are now a Night Fae. Well, not Night Fae, uh, Ardenwild Toon. 69.87%. Still a day behind, but getting close. Getting close. Our enemies gather for another assault. You know, I heard my name. Our yes, Meaty, stay classy. And put an end to their threat. Dizzin, thank you, Akia. Much appreciated. About your stay classy. Yes, indeed. Akia's also aiming to, to do stay classy all on their lonesome. It's only just past 10 a.m. He had a good day so far. Fantastic. Glad to hear it. Crack open an energy drink. <laughs> oh dear. Have you got ATT? I do. I do. Yeah, what's ATT? <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I finished Panda, Undead, and Goblins. We've got 14 tunes to finish across the others. My lowest two at 53. Amazing. You're doing so well, Midi. So, so well. Mm. Afternoon, Draz. Welcome back. I'm so jealous. <laughs> no, don't be jealous. Use as inspiration. You'll get there. You'll absolutely get there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You've got the family egging you on, Midi. I didn't even think about doing that. What the, the stay classy achieve, Yuri? Mm. We started mine this year. It's a big job. It's a big job, but I have faith. You'll get there. Trust. Um, in I'm uh, my my alt, my guild with all my alts in it at the moment. Um, on Horde side was my raiding guild back in Ward. so I have stay classy. But I like I leveled a couple of them myself just to finish off the achievements, but a lot of them were recruits. Like, a lot of them were other guild members. Um, so I was quite lucky in that regard. But, um, mm. it is one hell of a goal. One hell of a goal. Alrighty, on to Jabana. Show is almost 50, last tune to get to 60 before free pre-patch. Ah, oh, fantastic! Look at you go! Well done. Uh, now for that achieve, do you actively need the leveled up tunes in the guide, in the guild to get the achieve, or can you level one, delete it, level another, etc.? Um, I'm not sure. I don't remember. Um, maybe someone else can answer that for you. I know Midi was talking about deleting tunes, but maybe that's after it's finished. It's tune number 22. Well done! Well done, that's awesome. Um... I've got my 50 at 50. My first challenge was Fia's 50-50s. Or Fia's 50-50s challenge. And I got that. That was before Lovers in the Air last year. The reason I'm getting them all to 60 is because Lovers in the Air, the heartbreak amount, is usually only able to drop for tunes who are max level from the previous expansion. So in Shadowlands, 
that was BFA where Max was 50. So they had to be at 50 to get them out. And they were, they were all at 50. And I did all 50 attempts every day for 15 days, 750 attempts. It didn't drop. So, <laughs> which is why I'm doing it again. So because Dragonflight is releasing supposedly, expectedly, on or before December 31st, 2022, it means that next Love is in the Air, the previous expansion will be Shadowlands. So it'll be a level 60 cap where you have to have them at level 60 for them to be able to get them out to drop. So that's what I'm doing. Getting them all to 60. But there are two I'm not leveling. One Alliance, one Horde. Those tunes are going to be deleted to make evokers. And I will get them to 60. <laughs> yeah, so I've got 15 60s at the moment. And 33 tunes that are 55 plus. You can delete them, but if the X-Pack rolls over to the next one, you lose progress on any incomplete. Ah, so it's like a danger. Gotcha. Learned that the hard one. Oh, rough, matey. I'm so sorry. Maybe I'll be feed the cats. Of course. Enjoy. Um, got Heartbreaker on my first try. Doing loves in the air. Feel that it was big mad. Oh, no. Well, hey, look. That's just proof it exists. If you got it, it means it's in the code. It has to. It's going to drop. It has to. It's there. It'll drop. What news do you bring? That's how I used to see it anyway. I have this thing where I, I try to look for positives. <laughs> Certainly helps with mental health, but um, not always easy. Not always easy. Especially last year, this year rather, this February just passed, when fucking Zam got mount. That was fine. Totally fine. Stole my mount. The purpose it's all right, next year. Next year! Uh, initially I thought, okay, I'll do all XYZ class first for ease of not having to keep changing, which meant I hadn't finished any parts. Ah, oh, no, yeah. Cheap text says reach max level and the max level changes. Yeah, correct, it does, you're right. Mm. <laughs> so now you're doing it by, like, by, by race, so that you're knocking off each achievement at once, I'm guessing? Time walking dragon pretty quick, easy mounts. I have issues with apparently. Yeah, look, everyone has their lucky mounts and their unlucky mounts. And that's alright, you just gotta keep going with the other ones. That'll drop eventually. One day. Alright, I think I'm gonna go grab a drink. I will be back shortly. Take this opportunity to go stretch your own legs, grab a drink, grab a snack, have a bathroom break, all that kind of stuff. Take care of yourself, and I'll be back shortly. Our enemies gather for another assault. Strike them down first and put an end to their threat.
Hello. Here we have a battle that's ready. Convenient. So I start the racing, even if I don't make the medal, I'll have the parts. Yeah, absolutely, because then you just, yeah, yeah, yeah. But a good call, good call. Even there, I got to 102 attempts today. There's 120 from before, I think I paused. I passed your low 200s. Yeah, it was 209 for me. Drat. This is my lucky first one with Fiamli Group on Transmog Run. Raven Lord was my lucky second attempt actually trying to farm it. Um, I got Raven Lord the first time I ever killed it. Um, I didn't even know what it I was like, wait, what's this? Uh, the druid in my group was pissed. <laughs> was very unhappy. Um, hello, Ayn. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh, I got the any I farmed. They were especially lucky. Grand Black War Mammoth in the first couple of weeks. We were in the raid, though, so that's probably mine. Fantastic. Yeah, it's lucky it would have been midnight. TBC Car got a first run. Torrens couldn't ride horses back then, they could ride Midnight, Unlucky Mount Ashes. It's been a thousand plus kills. Um, I think, was it... I think it's Persephone? Has it got, like, I think, I think it dropped. I think it dropped for her, but it was like 2,500 plus attempts. Took me 92. I, I seem to be pretty on average with most of my mounts. Like I, I get j like just under or just over what it's supposed to be. Um, then there are some that are like well over and some that are well under, but I mean, that's, that's random distribution for you, isn't it? <laughs> like <laughs> that's how that's meant to work. Um, includes Sand and Neri, congratulations to you on your bonus shit. Well done. Correct. Tell me you're not just killing the bird, just making sure. Killing, yeah, thank God. I yeah, sorry. This is this is a, a fear story. I um I was jumping around that like just after I had mine drop, I was jumping about um streams because there were a whole bunch of people who were farming it, and I jumped into this particular woman's chat, and she was talking about yeah, you know I've got like hundreds of attempts and blah blah. And I'm like oh no, you know next one I'm sure it'll drop for you soon, and she zones in and she kills the la and then zones out. And I'm like, hang on, aren't you killing Kale? And she's like, no, 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 um, the bird drops the mount because it's a, it's a bird mount, so it comes from the bird. I'm like, uh, no. She had hundreds of attempts on the bird. I, I just, I wanted to reach through the screen and just hug her so hard. Like, oh boy, oh boy. Like, always triple check your information before, like, Lord. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. <sighs> it just breaks my heart every time I think about it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so I can't actually get, I can't, I can't place anything that I need to for my quests. So I'm just going to level instead. Okay. Place those units. Mm, no. Ah, so close, Doop. So close. Do you play classic as well or just retail? Just retail for the most part. Um, like, you know, never say never. But, um, yeah, at this point it's mostly just retail. Yeah. Um, I'm super, super glad that Classic is there as an option for those who want to play it, though. Like, zero against it. Just not my personal cup of tea. Usually. Hello, Phoenix. Welcome back. Kill Baron Rivendell. Rivendell over 500 times no mount. Gave up in the end. Oh, no, Sin. Oh, no. Yeah, look, it... It will drop eventually. It just sometimes the sucks. Was once rich with <laughs> sometimes it sucks. Uh, which are we talking? Midnight or Fiery War Horses Reigns? 
Uh, well, I have both. But um, I was talking about Ashes being my my 92 attempts. Uh, 209 was Baron Rivendare, so not from Kara at all. Um, I'll get the have learned that running Nighthold Mythic followed by Hellfire Citadel Mythic is far too much. Can't go into short space of time! Oh my lord, you are not wrong. You are absolutely not wrong. Good lord. We love Cadgar, but, but the man can talk. Jakun is my on and off farm. I think I'm close to 100 attempts now, but it's been a while since I've sat down and ran a bunch through. Yup. Well, you've had other stuff on your plate, Sheebs. Understandable. Uh, it's like so many people thinking the mount's dropped from Spine of Deathwing. I, I don't understand that. It literally afterwards plonks you down in front of actual Deathwing. Like, why would it drop from the second to last? Oh, I, mm. How's the 50 characters coming along? Hey, Akon. Uh, we're at 69.87% currently. Getting there. Getting there. We're one day behind on my uh, percentage meter. Never say never, Fia saying it twice. Yeah, look. How are you? I'm doing very well, Phoenix. Busy as fuck. <laughs> like, really, really busy. Um, but for good reasons. So I'm doing well. I hope you can say the same. Ash is on my birthday. Oh, lovely, Akira. Yeah, look, my birthday is in the middle of Lovers in the Air. It's like, right on in there. So, um, yeah, that's, that's what I want for my birthday next year. Invincible I got on 200. Exactly, I may or may not have accidentally thrown my cat off my lap when it dropped. Yeah, look, fair. Fair. Mm, yeah, let me confer with my sources. No. Ah, uh, with that person killing wrong boss. At least she didn't have to keep doing that annoying talk first of all. Doing wrong boss, yeah, true. Would have been much, much faster. But yeah, it just, like, years. This woman had been farming it for years and doing it wrong. Like, oh, doing good. Wonderful. So glad to hear. And have heartbreak of her birthday. I'd love that. That would be just, I, I would cry. I, I will cry when that drops. Can I get a Discord link, please? You most certainly can. You can type exclamation Discord into chat and it'll drop it for you. Cat is fine now. Yeah, right. Um, Koalatron hasn't been posting timers either. I've just noticed. It thinks I'm offline. Hang on. Maybe that's the problem. Fucking Maybe it won't play them unless I'm live. I know the timers won't play unless I'm live. But, yeah, because um, the timers were working on Friday and the sounds weren't still weren't working. Oh, actually, hold up. No. That's fine. 
I mean, it's not, but... At least the timer's working now. Hello, Mikey. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Um... Uh, are they gonna cry on your birthday anyway? They're right. Look, uh, maybe, maybe not. There is, there is a chance I don't stream on my birthday. My birthday's a Saturday next year. Saturday is one of my days off. You serve the Margrave. And um, if it drops before my birthday, then I will not. I will have a day off on my birthday. Do you serve the Margrave? So we're crying, we're getting ashes a couple of days ago. Oh, she's totally fine. I'm, very much I'm playing wow. Brilliant. I can't go make it to the cure until so fast. T. Della ran. Heartbreaker. Ah, uh, you'll be fine. I'm sure. No. Um, do you know I didn't even notice what I'm like, yeah, ditto, right? Ditto. That was like when Akia asked about the Discord link, I was like, actually, I haven't seen Qualitron post that for a while. So I had a bit of a squiz and I'm like, huh. Everyone's Sunday here. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing pretty well. Busy and overwhelmed a little bit, all that kind of stuff, but doing well. Doing well. Let's hope and not hope it drops then. Look, I hope it drops at some point next year. That's like, I don't, I don't mind, like the earlier the better because doing the whole thing, streaming every single day and then having that last stream run until like three or four in the morning was just, God, it killed me. It, I was exhausted, like absolutely exhausted. Um, but I'll do it if I have to. I would just rather I didn't have to. The sooner it drops, the better. We'll see how we go, though. So there's some talk about the drop rate changing or something. No, what they said was that we know it's a shit fight and we're looking into it. They said nothing about the drop rate changing. They said nothing about purchasing it from a vendor. They said nothing about any specific details. All they said was, we are aware of the inve the time investment required for this mount and we are looking into options. End of sentence. That was it. They gave us no other indication of anything. Uh, people read into that. And, and came up with theories of how it might make it easier, and then those spread like wildfire, but none of them came from Blizzard. Battle plans, you can, absolutely. Just give me a second. Here we go, battle plans complete. Uh, while we wait for the free-for-all, wait, what free-for-all? Ah, oh, it's a free-for-all. Uh, while we wait for the free-for-all, everyone should do the other FFA. Follow Fiamma's amazing socials. Oh dear. <laughs> Fear is working to go full-time, and to do this she needs some extra support. This support looks like following on social media. It's free. It's free! Following is free and helps streamers by expanding their reach, increasing visibility, and opportunities for sponsorship. You can find all of my profiles at allmylinks.com forward slash Fiamma. Yeah, it absolutely is a fantastic way to support for free. And that goes for all of your favorite creators as well, regardless of what platform they create on. If you want to support them to the max, but can't afford to do so financially, follow them, interact with their posts, leave comprehensive comments, share their posts, all that kind of stuff. The more effort you put in, uh, the more effort you put into your engagement, the more it's worth to the algorithm and the higher their post will be pushed. Uh, to both the FFAs, which mount? Uh, the one I was talking about most recently was the Heartbreaker from Lovers in the Air. Is that the one maybe you're thinking of? Uh... Follow, follow, follow! Oh no, we just missed it! Right, okay. Too late. <laughs> oh dear. 
So I spelled amazing incorrectly. Oh dear, that's fine. It's like amazing with a dodgy appropriate accent. Yes, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Tell the ass, stalk your favorite creators. Look, stalking and following on social media are two very different things. Do not stalk people. Uh, it's inappropriate and just don't do it. Um, but uh, look, I, I understand that what you were saying was a joke, but it's um, genuinely such a problem that I'm not even gonna, I'm not even willing to joke about it. Um, it's, it's fucking terrifying. And uh, there are uh, quite a few creators out here who are actually unsafe uh, in their own homes because of people stalking them and, and things like that. It's not okay, don't do it. Um, but definitely follow on social media. It's a, it's a great way to support your favorite creators. Um, <laughs> indeed. It's also stalks, so slightly tasteless, I admit. I didn't mean it in a bad way. I, I knew you didn't, like, I, and that's why I acknowledged. I, I understand that it was probably as a joke, but um, yeah, I, I just, I can't, I can't in good conscience engage with it on a, a joke level, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do understand that it was in, it was meant in a kind-hearted way, but um, yeah, definitely do do the follow thing though. And not just for fear, like I know we're talking about me at the moment, but um, any creator that you in whose content that you enjoy on any platform, um, do throw them a follow, like their posts, comment, share, all that fun stuff. Uh, it, it genuinely does help more than you know. You never know when your share or like or comment will push that person's post high enough up in the algorithm's ranking that it'll just explode and be shown to tens of thousands of people. You just, you never know. So it's definitely worth it. Uh, good morning, if you're the chat is reading this, you're loved and cared for no matter how hard things can get, they will get better. Special and deserve many happy days ahead. As do you, Slain. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well today. Hope you're doing well. Single follow can make a creator's day. It absolutely can. Absolutely can. Button pushy. <laughs> I've lost a whole handful of follows on Instagram lately. Um, when I've been interacting with, uh, like, like going back and checking comments and stuff like that, I've had so many of so many bots commenting lately. So I've started blocking them because I've noticed this. Like, I had one particular post that was a few months old, and the same bot account was coming back to comment the exact same copy paste thing every single week. And I'm like, no, I'm done. Open. So every time I had a bot comment, I st I've started blocking them. And so my followers have started dropping. <laughs> oh God. Maybe I should stop blocking them and just report them. Cause I, I mean, I am reporting and blocking, but like maybe I should just report them so it doesn't affect my stats. Ugh, it's such a gross feeling having to like make that decision based on like your own numbers and shit. Ugh. It's gross. Excellent. A new test. <sighs> Have you been keeping up with uh, Hello Daz. Happy Sunday to you too. Welcome back. Evening Dunno. How are you going? I'm going very well, thank you. Hope you can say the same. Good evening, Moody. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Ah, oh dear. It's been a really lovely day today. They get Vanjie lose their follow anyway. Yeah, but... How, like, it's, it's a matter of, like, how often do... How often do they, like, actually get banned? You know? That's more the, yeah. I'm sure most people just ignore those kind of comments. I can't help but like actually report them. But I, I doubt I'm probably like one of the only people out there actually reporting them. Join the FFA. Yes, I can do that. You're doing well, thank you. Wonderful. When yeah, I didn't think I would play Wrath Classic. We're doing the Death Knight Sunday for the Mount. Brilliant. So is pretty much everybody else. It's uh it's been a common topic of discussion the last few days, that's for sure. Hey, Angel. 
Can't believe I can't. Can't believe Ken did it happen. It was nine counter raid and both Shiba and Kiwi got a win. Oh no! What will you do, Seeker? What will you do? Wait, I didn't slice those ones. Go! Oh, in early today, one! Oh my god. Holy cow. <laughs> Machine and gambling, not real gambling to be clear. This sweet, sweet pot coins, yes. Oh, voila, coins. Jikun, of course, I can do that. Watch right up this. Um, oh, I won! Go me. Look at me go. Winning everything. Lately. <laughs> not the mods, just fair. Yep. To be clear, it is definitely not rigged. But occasionally I win and it's hilarious when I do. Weeping clearly rigged, weeping even so sad I can't even spell. Oh, hang on. Suck it. You have mods, yeah, not. Not this one, dude. Not this one. <laughs> not today! Oh, Lord. Can you use level 20 in stream race takes forever? Oh, it does. It does. Getting to level 30 takes even longer. It's just, like, I, I definitely view it as, a like, very much a passive game, and that's how I don't, like, go a bit insane. Um, yeah, it's just a passive thing. Every time I get the opportunity, I, I do it, but I know that I can't really rush it. Stream of favor. That's not true power early mods. Uh, have you tried Spray Raiders, the orange one? Huh? Oh, the <laughs> I get it. Okay, good. I understand. It took me a second. It took me a second, but I get it now. Oh dear. Look, I'm a little bit slow sometimes, I'm okay? Yeah, I understood that reference. Fear, probably. Basically. Yes, a mess. Jesus. Okay. Forgot I had that appointment. Shit. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'll figure it out. <laughs> oh. 
cutting back further on sleep. <laughs> I, I'm not. That was a joke. Don't do that. Please take care of yourselves. Shiba! Well done. Well done. Shiba and only Shiba. There you go. What do you covet? I'll lend you an ear. They'll pay for underestimating me. Rings. <laughs> Not rigged if it's me when. <laughs> Definition of mods reading. <laughs> oh dear. You the godly hail today. What a... Oh, and they're all dead. <laughs> um, innocent all this. I doubt that. In sincerely. Blame mod? Perfect. We blame shapes. One more weapon. I'm close to another ding. <clears throat> it's 
version of classic reaching pre-patch for wrath. How about Ledge King? We can do that. If G Hub launches. I had some problems with getting it to launch lately, and if it can't, I will refund you and I will turn the redemption off. Um, but it had an update recently, and uh, since that update hasn't start, like it won't launch. We'll see how we go. Fingers crossed a restart I did earlier. Um, wait, did I restart this PC or my laptop? I don't remember. We'll see. We'll see. To enjoy it, enjoy. It's fun. Have you been keeping up with your rituals? Skills yet. Yep. Like it was done. I'd rather fight than talk. Looking for a fight. Fun. Yep. Have you been platform is also a really convenient little thing to have. <laughs> Very useful. Ooh, battle. Yeah, G Hub's not launching. Um, so I'm gonna refund that to you and I'm gonna restart my PC after this and uh, see what the hell's going on there. I'll have denizens and Madrax to speak, agreed. They, they're all they're all metal band vocalists who have death like the death growled a little too much. It's it's perfection. Well your bars change depending on what form you're in. Automatically, so it's a lot easier than it sounds. Update mucked up all my settings. Oh, CG have had an update and I can't open it now. <laughs> so I'm reckoning it's probably something to do with me having not restarted or something, but it's still a little annoying. So good with you. Yep. It's the Druid only raids. I used to do it TBC and Wrath. Ah! I just dinged. 56. We are at 70.08, which means we are up to date. Dun, 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 dun. Alrighty. Krugan, Fell, Silver Molly, Sand, and Cade, congratulations to all of you on your ownership. Well done. Uh, let's just set the skills at ye. Ox, ding, yay! Ding! I'm aged to 58, she's close to 59, maybe three will time walking tomorrow. I need to finish resetting my tunes the week before raid. Fair. Fair enough. Uh, right, Orc Slayer. Still a no. Uh, musketeer or Monk. I can place the Musketeer, so that's what I'm going to do.
the raids available again if anyone wants to risk their coins. Oh, the lashes started popping off again. Probably. Amazing! I'm wondering now if maybe my glue is dying. I mean, these are very fluffy lashes, but like... What changed? Why the hell did that one work? You fixed it. How did you fix it? For the horse! What changed? I literally did nothing. Look, I hate when tech breaks, and it's fantastic when tech works, but when tech goes from broken to working when you literally changed nothing, it frustrates the hell out of me because it means I don't know how to fix it if it happens again. What the hell changed? I'm very angry. Like, legitimately pissed off. I've been having just nothing but issues with the chatbot lately, and I know that Streamlabs are trying to push people towards using their cloudbot, and I feel like they're making things break random, but like that, it, there's not even a patch, so... The thing that changes you trying to open G-Hub, right? Like... What are my orders? And that didn't work, so I closed it. Like, it just... <sighs> At least it's working again. I'm just... Like, as someone who uses this stuff for their literal job, when something doesn't work, it's a problem. Super frustrated, but... Whatever. This is chaos. Blame Koalatron. I mean, that's the thing. It's the program that powers Koalatron that's causing the issues, not Koalatron himself. Ah, well. I've still got that ticket open with them, so I'm gonna, I'll see what they say. Or maybe there was something broken on their end and they've just got my ticket and they've flipped a switch. Because you have to, you have to include your, um... I mean, it shouldn't though, because it's a program on my computer, but you have to put your account name in when you're opening a ticket with them. So maybe they saw something problematic. <clears throat> that works too, yeah. yeah. I assumed it would if, if one bit's working, the rest of it should. Mm. To leveling, yeah, no, no, like you, you don't even have all your abilities to see. So how are you gonna figure out buttons yet? As you get new ones, pop them on your bars and figure them out that way. Best way to level.
question. Oh, I'm at the form based skills. It seems to change the class based on form if you look later. Uh, it, it does, um, but depends on what level you're on, uh, level you are as well. Um, you may not have access to, like, Yeah, exactly. Early on, you're, like if you're starting at level one, you don't have you don't have enough stuff for it to need to change, so it doesn't. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, dupe, for putting it into words. My brain kind of flopped. is now kind of itching after I've reattached my uh, lash properly. I start with cat and humanoid. Yes, you learn the later. Uh, you learn the rest of them after you get access to talents at level ten, right? Like that's when you start picking your specs and stuff. I'm sure it is. I'd rather fight than Tens of fight. Troll, bear, cat, and travel. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Um, I think beyond that, if you want the other ones, you got to spec into them and stuff. Four left in Maldraxxus. And we get to go to Ardenwields, finally! I am very keen to do that. I am unsure whether I will get there today. But we will see. I enjoy being a scaly meow. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. I wonder if these last few tunes are actually going to get to 57 in Maldraxxus. I have a feeling I might end up, like, I might be right at the beginning of 55 and then get through 55 and most of 56, but then finish right, you know what I mean? 
like not quite make it, which would suck. I don't want that. I've got two at 55 and a handful at 56 that are going to go into Ardenweald, but I'd love for most of them to be 57. There's the less I have to do of uh, Revendreth, the better, because then it'll just be bang, 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 all these 60s, one after the other in a stream. It'll be really fun. <laughs> all the tweets. Spam tweets. But we'll see how we go. Past the halfway point. Skip to the mall, got to Mal at 53. Um, see, a lot of my tunes were already 51 heading into Shadowlands because of doing the Lovers in the Air runs. If they weren't 51, they were like this close because of the experience they got running that dungeon 15 times. In fact, I'm pretty sure I pushed all of them over 51. Like, some of them grabbed, like, one or two bonfires just to get that little tiny bit of XP to push them over and stuff like that. Um, so I had a head start. So a lot of them are getting there at 55. Plus, I did a lot of that leveling with the Winds of Wisdom. Um, yeah. And every time time walking comes around, a handful of them get a dungeon or two, and yeah, it's just, it's all those little things really add up. Look, if I get to, um, if I finish Reven- uh, if I finish Ardenweald and they're like 59 and a half, um, I'll just do a run of Torghast and get them that last little bit of the way. That's probably going to be the easiest way to do it. Faster too. Maybe. Depending. Depending on the class. Potatoes, cauli cheese, and schnitzel will be stuffed with carbage food and happy. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think chicken dinner tonight, maybe. I don't remember. Did you was from afterwards? Um, sorry, middle, that sentence doesn't make any sense. good because I've got that on my list for this week. This is 
really weird. Mm, it does. That sort of thing. Oh, that's so sad. How dare. Run from a no source, yeah. Although. Jas has his nugs sourceless. <laughs> yeah, I we whenever we get like KFC um and we get nugs, I always end up with extra sauce and I'm living for that, so we just yeah, we'll chuck it in the fridge. I too many sauces, but now okay, you're not safe from from the house immediately. Yeah <laughs> But it means that I get extra sauce. I'm going to die. Oh, no, maybe not. It's really short leash. Why am I? I'm slowed. Okay. Out of combat. Winning. Mm. You're most excited about or anticipating? Um. That's a really good question, Sass. There's so much that looks to be really, really interesting. Um, I what the, what I want the most information on right now is uh, the work orders, the professions, like the sending a request to a person to to ask them to make you something. Excuse me, that's like my big. I really want information on that right now, but I've been trying to. Avo I'm I am avoiding spoilers, uh, for for Dragonflight. So um, I haven't done a lot of research into much just because. If I read anything other than literal patch notes, uh, people are going to weave spoilers in them and just be dicks like that. So I haven't been reading anything other than literally just patch notes. Um, uh, but yeah, that's kind of, that's the big thing that I'm really keen for more info on right now. the win. Source delivery system, correct. Correct. I drown all of my food in condiments. I love saucy stuff, it's just so good. Mm, whoever has nugs left to go cold. That's what. Dip in alien stuff occasionally. Okay, maybe see that I don't do at least. Okay. Uh, do you get coleslaw with your KFC meals? No, chips. Just the, the meal and the chips and a drink. The console's not bad, it's just I prefer the chips. Um, Max and Nugs and Big Max sauce is the best. Alright, the profession knowledge, yeah. Um, we, be, we have got a couple of streams that we've gone through and, and done that on. I mean, I'd like to learn how I'd like to learn how we earn it. Um, but we've gone through and looked at most of the skill trees and stuff, and they're really interesting. Uh, but, yeah, how we earn it is, is something that's still kind of outstanding. Um, and at what rate? Because there was a mention, it was implied in one of the interviews that, um, we will be able to max it out. But, like, one, one profession takes, like, 500 knowledge to max out, but another one takes, like, 800 knowledge to max out. So, like, is, how does the whole, like, how does it all work? Yeah. This is a QC chicken gravy. Um, this went my dinner before it tossed me 1.5 gig update. <laughs> do you need do you need my phone for the recipe? Uh Sweetmaster's where it's at. Discontinued for a few years with much sadness. You can see following a poll in stream a while ago. Apparently I'm wrong that sweet and sour is superior. Yes. However, sweet and sour with mustard is the most superior. In my opinion, you dunk them into the mustard first and then dunk them into the sweet and sour because of the consistency of the two sauces and the way they stick if you were to put sweet and if they would do sweet and sour first and then into them into the mustard the mustard would just hold on to most of the sweet and sour you'd just lose a bunch of sauce into the, the other tub uh whereas mustard clings to the chicken better 
Um, and then the sweet and sour is more like liquidy, so that'll like, yeah. But mm, definitely. Mustard, then sweet and sour. Let me go a second. It did. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I didn't have a lot to eat yesterday, planning on getting a big takeaway night to make up fair. Because most people don't know, you can get Max Sauce on its own. Yeah, but like, Max Sauce isn't really that special. It's like mostly ketchup and mayo with some extra little ingredients. What, what really, and what still surprises me is just how different sweet and sour tastes at all the different chains. Like, at, at, I think it's Red Rooster, the sweet and sour sauce is really plummy, like really, really plummy. Um, but at, um, at KFC it's quite tangy. But yeah, it's interesting. Obviously they all have different recipes, but yeah, super interesting. Rice box. Normally it's baked every second meal on the chicken bacon cheeseburger. Nice. The rooster hypercolor one. Oh my gosh. Reset. Go back. Go away. There we go. Ah, okay. Sure. Bye. <laughs> it disappeared. This one is good on hash browns, baking an egg with that egg. It's good stuff. Morning, hello Sink, welcome back. Hope you're doing well today. Since do I need to install to get access to a DK on Classic? Um, I think it's BC because it's the pre-patch. You need it's it's gonna be either like BC for the pre-patch or Wrath. Um, Classic doesn't have DKs, so it doesn't have their starting experience. Oh, they've changed the name of it with the pre-patch. That's interesting. I didn't even check, honestly. <laughs> right, right, I don't always. She's kidding me. I downloaded the Wrath one. Dude, there you go. Perfect. I think I should start a Wrath as normal TBC, I guess. Mm. It's still the pre-patch though, like it's still, like the expansion hasn't launched yet, therefore it's not the expansion, like. That's why it's a pre-patch, because it's pre-expansion. But that's just my opinion. I know you disagree with me, Jess, and I don't really care. <laughs> So singing, doing this and still classic. Sun is shining, the birds are singing, Robin Beanie is so much better. Before I left it, fantastic sync, wonderful to hear. The wrath is alive, must have been classic. Yeah, classic is vanilla, and that's not changing, so they won't have a pre patch there, because classic is like classic in a pre patch would be for BC. Um, but yeah, that's uh, yeah. Do I know you? Am I supposed to? That's what, yeah, right? Off we go. To the next bit. Almost done with Maldraxxus on this tune. I know the bar doesn't say it, but like... We've got uh, an area thing, like a, a bonus objective, and then we go into um, the last area of the zone. So we're almost there. And another one down! So you suffer, you never see my tracks again yet. I really admire your fortitude. Look, I, I like getting through all of it at once because then once I'm done, I know I'm done. 
Um, but yeah, no, we're going well. We're going well. We're at, uh, we're up to date. 70.08% complete. Uh, and today's goal was 70%. So yeah, doing doing well. Um, yeah, because Classic still exists, Slender. It like when BC launched, it split into two servers. You had Classic and you had BC. Now that Wrath is launching, BC is being phased out, but you'll still have Classic and Wrath. That's what we were talking about earlier. Um, the meaningful curve. Only, only by like this much. And uh, considering how busy my... Look, look. We'll see. We'll see how we go. At this point, I'm still very much... It's, it's very much a question mark on whether or not I'll make it by the deadline. But we'll see. All we can do is keep trying and just hope for the best. Raising a ghoul costs a goddamn reagent. Welcome to Wrath. Welcome to Wrath. So target. Yeah. So you can you can either like target like kill something and raise that corpse as your ghoul. Or you can use a reagent. It's actually be a pain in the ass to find now. Yep. Yep. XP apparently the dudes have just murdered. Don't do that. Oh dear. Okay, I wish you all you too, I and you too. You're having a fantastic day. So, mm -hmm. Yep, the game was uh, a little trickier to play, a little more involved back in the day. We had uh, portal stones and teleport stones. We had two different reagents to be able to um, summon, tele like to teleport and summon portals. And uh, slow fall took a light feather. What is this 50 60 challenge if I might ask? I am leveling up 50 characters to level 60. Nice and simple. Um uh, so yeah, the spreadsheet has all my characters in it and it has what levels they are and, and all that kind of little bits and pieces of data that are helping me to get them there, but that's that's essentially the gist of it. It's pretty straightforward. Just leveling them up. Uh, let me just trigger the start of this quest. Go. Unholy DQ doesn't DPS in its own presence unless I'm snapshotting. So just store actual soul shards in their bags. Yeah! Indeed. Pulse, Krugan, Kim, congratulations to you on your bow and sheep. Well done. Let's to the next one. Can I place my Orc Slayer yet? No. Musketeer or Monk? I can place a Monk. A 
way again into the lost lands of Beatrix too, isn't it? Correct. You'll be fine. You'll have so much fun. So much fun. Speaking of monks, I finally found a theme to allow me to connect with monks, so I can level one now. Have a heal for soothing this. She's my most favorite. Okay, hands. Of course you can. Absolutely. One moment, please. There you go. For you. Smart. So I hang a left in STV. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Right, okay, yeah, because it made zero sense. That's okay. Regional jokes are a thing. You're very welcome, Kim, not a worry. Not a worry. Mostly doing leveling stuff or also dungeons and raids. Uh, just leveling stuff at the moment because it's a pretty big goal. Um, so it's going to take me a while to get there and we don't have very long to go. Um, so yeah, leveling is my focus currently. I have done a lot of that kind of stuff in the past though. Um, we have a, a pretty big focus on collecting here. Um, like a lot of us are collectors, we have like all the things, the add-on installed, and so like mount farming and pet collecting, toys, transmog, uh, all that kind of stuff is, is a, a really big thing. Um, we do occasionally do a raid here and there, but it's incredibly casual, I don't raid with the guild consistently or anything like that. Um, uh, yeah. It's very much, uh, like, chill sort of vibe here. Uh, but that kind of content also lets me connect with chat a fair bit better. Um, I don't have to, like, ignore you for 40 minutes while I do a dungeon or something silly. Um, I can just kind of do what I want as I want to, which is nice. Kind of like the chill vibe. Oh, I'm glad. That's really wonderful. Look, there are, there are so many streamers, so many amazing, wonderful content creators who do a lot of dungeons and raids and do viewer keys and all that kind of stuff. There are there are so many, and a lot of them are fantastic creators. Um, but I'm a bit different. Uh, I'm not an incredibly skilled player, uh, but I am stubborn, and when I want a collectible, I go and I get it, no matter how long it takes. And when it finally drops, we all celebrate together. Um, yeah, it's uh, I, I really like the vibes we've kind of curated here. Uh, it's it's a bit different, it's a bit unique, uh, but not not entirely unique. Obviously, like there there is, <laughs> I'm definitely not saying that I'm special or anything like that. But um, it is a bit different from a lot of WoW streams, but it seems to work pretty well for me. 
and it definitely works pretty well for the community. Um, but yeah, if you're ever looking for chill vibes, you know you'll find them here. Occasionally, a little bit of hype occasionally, uh, but mostly chill, mostly chill. Uh, I got stuck between a fence and a lamppost. Well done. Good job. IRL. Oh my god, Helix, if he did, I would take a photo. You would know about it. It would be in Discord. Because uh, <laughs> I am a wonderful human. Take a photo, then help. Like, that's how it works, right? I uh, love collecting lovely up my pets. So do I, Slane. So do I. It's It's been a while since I've done some, like, really serious pet collecting. Uh, I did have a stream scheduled for last month that was going to be a pet stream. And then I was approached with a sponsorship offer. So I didn't. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, once once the leveling is done, I'm, I'm really keen, especially once Dragonflight gets here, going through and collecting all of those new pets that it's going to bring with it, it it's going to be so much fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Hi all, which classes have been tricky to master thus far? Oh, that's a really good question, Winter. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Um, I, I don't know. I'm, a I'm not the right person to answer that question, unfortunately, uh, as I use uh, GSE, uh, which is an add-on to help me with rotations and stuff. So, um, yeah, not, not quite uh, the right thing, but I'm sure that there will be uh, plenty of people in chat who will be able to give you their thoughts. But, of course, just keep in mind that if one person struggles with a particular class, there's going to be somebody else who picks it up like breathing. Um, you know, it's it's going to just flow like water for them. So it really heavily depends on who you are and what you find tricky and that kind of thing. Um, so just remember to take any advice you may get with a massive hunk of rock salt. Um. <laughs> Ah, uh, how I understand friendship responsibility. Photos before helps. Yeah, that's it, right? That's it. I don't think I can hang left at this TV. Also, this phone update is taking... I mean, it is one and a half gig, wasn't it? It's got to then install it. Do you want my phone with the recipe on it? Like, I'm happy for you to come grab it. Right, so, well, thank you. Wonderful to hear. Fantastic. Good vibes. Yes. All the good vibes. Definitely. Should let me find a safe spot fall off. Yeah, for, go for it. Not a worry. Ah, uh, I need to find you. A sponsor for level two. Yeah, look. Wouldn't that be lovely? We do have we do have a couple of sponsors that have jumped on board recently and they're um instead of like a so when it comes to streaming, there are a whole bunch of different forms that a sponsorship can take. There's stuff like, you know, product in exchange for posts, you know, they send me a headset and I, I talk about it and I make a post about it and, you know, that's that's the thing there. Um, then there's stuff like the Final Fantasy XIV streams we've been doing where I get paid an amount to do a stream of their game. Um, so it's like a specific sponsored stream. And then we have things like uh, our two latest sponsors. Uh, we've got, you'll see every so often, thank you for the timing, Felix, Felix Mobile here in Australia. Uh, they're one of my more recent sponsors and they pay me a fee per month to, for a few different things. So there's like the logo on stream, there's a panel down below, I make posts and, and um, there will be a couple of sponsored streams that are from, from them, but it's a whole bunch of little things in exchange for an amount every month kind of thing. And then the one over on that side, Thank you again for the timing. Fractal, my most recent sponsor that we announced today, um, that's also a, a lump sum, like per month, but it's for like, it's, it's less money for fewer responsibilities kind of thing, if that makes sense. So, um, but yeah, so there are a couple of different forms of sponsorship can take. So leveling, like technically this stream is sponsored because I am sponsored on an ongoing basis by Felix Mobile and by Fractal Designs. So 
Yeah, but it's not like someone hasn't like branded, like they haven't stuck their name on this particular stream. I hope that makes sense. It's, look, I'm all, I'm very new to all this as well. <laughs> so new to all this, but I'm doing my best. I'm learning as I go and I'm absolutely winging some of it. But um, yeah, so it, it's, yeah. Uh, we are doing next weekend, actually. There will be, essentially, you guys will be sponsoring a series of streams over the next weekend. Um, I'm having what is called, what we're calling, Fears Phone Fundathon. Basically, I need a new phone because mine is quite old and it's dying and also the camera, uh, although it, you know, it gets me by, it's not super amazing quality. Um, so what I'm looking for is a new phone. Uh, it's on my throne wish list uh, and it's uh, a massive upgrade. I'd be going from an iPhone 8 to an iPhone 13. That's five numbers. I know it's not five models, but it's, it's still a lot. Um, so the idea there is that it'll be like a subathon where, you know, in, in a traditional subathon, subs or bits or donations will extend the timer. This round, contributions to the crowdfunding on Throne will extend the timer to a max of 36 hours over three days. And it's gonna be leveling. So <laughs> I'm gonna be leveling like a lot. So depending on how far through funding we get, you know, like that that will absolutely be, it's, it's basically a, a sponsored stream that is sponsored by contributions from chat. Um, the, the more contributions, the longer the stream goes. Um, and there's going to be incentives. So, you know, if you contribute X amount, Y will happen. Uh, and when we get to milestones, 25, 50, 75, 100% funded, um, things will happen. Uh, as well as the, the stream being extended, obviously. So, yeah, it'll be, uh, hopefully, it'll be a whole lot of fun. I'm hoping you'll all enjoy it. Uh, but, yeah. We'll see how we go, shan't we? Um. Ah, uh, just for me, I'd say Rogue. It's not when I play. Oh, yeah, that's a good answer, actually, Mara. I might be part of it. All the options. Finishes cooldowns. It'd be amazing if I optimize using everything. A lot of other classes, I reckon I could play at 80% of their potential pretty quickly. Rogue, I suspect it's more like 50% at best. I also found them super squishy. Um, like, I. I struggle a fair bit leveling a rogue that I just I, I die a lot um but that also might just be me being trash <laughs> I agree with rogue yeah this is so squishy the margin for error feels really thin yeah I I agree with that wholeheartedly um I just enjoyed rogue rogues are they look they're fun but they are e it's a time it's a time um, hey, Jelly, have an iPhone plus seven. Oh wow I'm so impressed that it's still alive go you well done well done. I've been 13 in the last couple of weeks. It's a great phone. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm not I'm not looking for like a plus or, or a, any of that kind of stuff or pro. I'm just like, they're too big for my hands. Like even the 13 is going to be bigger than my current phone and it's going to feel a bit weird for a few months. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's time. I am a, a content creator. And if I'm going to create content, uh, my, my tech is going to help me do that. So, yeah, fingers crossed. And plus, you know, having having lined up a, a mobile provider as a sponsor, it also makes sense that I have a, a bloody good phone that I can take advantage of everything they have to offer. Um, love to see leveling. Yes, 36 hours of fear in three days. Yes, please. Well, that is the hope. But... In order to do that, it is, it's, it's, you know, it's a fair, a fair few contributions. So I'm, I'm not gonna like, I'm, I'm trying to just sort of not expect anything, you know, cause that feels sort of gross. It feels a bit greedy or something, but, um, look, I've, I've put the option out there up to 36 hours of content across three days, three 12 hour streams, day after day after day. Uh, if we get there, amazing. If we don't, that's okay too. Count me in. Use the same route for every character, or did what you feel like. Um, I've used the same route for most of the characters. Um, there are a handful that I leveled fairly early on in the expansion. 
Um, from 50 to 60 at least. Uh, from, from like 1 to 50, uh, most of it was the same, but I did have a lot of them at high level already when I started the challenge. When I, because I did Fears 50-50s first, and now I'm getting them from 50 to 60, but I am using the same route for all of them, yeah. Uh, just through Threads of Fate. Um, I, I jump on a toon, I do a zone, complete one zone, and then I jump onto the next one, and I kind of just leapfrog them. So I go the lowest tune and level that up, and then the next lowest tune and level that up, and then the next lowest tune and level that up, and it just kind of, yeah, it gives me a bit of rotation through different classes and um, different covenants and things like that as I go through. Still the same quests, though. Looking forward to the possibility of goals to hit and interactions with chat. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I do have a graphic that I've done up for it. Oh no. Oh, that was close. <laughs> that was close. Galaxy S8 feel, feel the need for upgrade? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's just, like, I didn't really feel like I needed one, honestly. Like, my phone is still... Uh, the battery is shit, but I've got a couple of power banks that I can carry around with me really easily so I can charge on the go and stuff. It, it didn't feel like that big a deal. But then, now that I'm doing a lot more of the social media stuff and I'm taking a lot of photos and videos on my phone and then editing on my computer and stuff like that, it's... I'm starting to notice a few bits and pieces in that regard uh and so i mean because if it was just the battery then I, I could just go get the battery replaced right that's no biggie but everything else is starting to slow down a bit as well and i'm i'm feeling like okay if this is my job if i want to be a full-time content creator then i need to invest in my career and i can't really afford to invest the money to get a new phone uh, so what I'm doing instead is investing time in the hopes that I can convince enough people to invest a little bit of money each. Uh, <laughs> oh. If she uses the same route, I am. I use Zygo guides and it guides me through the same path. I'm getting my upgrade this year's Black Friday sales. Good call. Good call. Hi, the sun will. Ein! Thank you so much for the sub. Much appreciated. Welcome to the Fianati. Is it recently is WhatsApp is stopping the support? Yeah. Look, it, it gets a bit that way, hey, when, the, when a piece of tech is... I'll be back with food. Okay, a handful of years old. Like, I got this phone... God, like four and a half years ago or something now and even then it wasn't top of the line i'm pretty sure i got it when the iphone x was released so it was already a couple years old at that point um so yeah i feel like getting because the 13 is the the most recent one that's available now i think um i don't i didn't want an x or a big chunky pro or plus or anything like that because i just i can't hold them properly um even with the pop socket on the back they're just still too big uh, but, um, yeah, the getting a, a regular sized but most recent model I feel like will hopefully future proof me for a little while and I won't need a new phone for four or five years. Stay a while and listen. Okay. About the same as a, as a computer, you know? Don't want to upgrade them too, too frequently because it gets expensive. Charge your headset, Jess, yeah! <laughs> Yep, Fear gets a phone, we get Fear, it's a win-win. Look, I hope so. I, I'd like to think that's how it works, but, um... And it was like, uh, Purse actually said one time when she stopped by, uh, talking about, you know, when, you, when you're working a regular job and you need something extra, you need something additional, you're saving up to pay for something special, you take extra shifts, you work overtime if you can, if you have the option. Uh, and so this is essentially, as a streamer, me working overtime. It's, it's trying to, to put extra time in in the hopes that I get a bit more of a, an injection of, of payment, of cash. 
Uh, and I think that that's, I think that that's reasonable. Um, obviously not everyone's going to be able to contribute and that's totally fine. Um, if you, if you're not able to, the best ways to, to help are to share is to, you know, uh, interact with social media posts about the fact that it's happening. Um, you never know when your share is going to reach somebody who does have the cash to help out. That, do you know what I mean? It's, it's that kind of a thing. You just, you don't know. Um, you can never know. You know, you might share it and someone, you know, one someone in your circle might see it and share it themselves. Someone in their circle will then see it and share it. And someone in their circle just won the lottery. Like, you, you just, you, you can never know. Um, so yeah, sharing really does help on every level. All goods and services um, hey, 57. Perfect. Just equipping all the things. Give me a moment. <laughs> 57. That'll be it for her. So she's going to be heading to Ardenweald. So we'll change her colour and we'll resort it. We are now at 70.31%. We are not quite a day ahead just yet. Yeah. Did I miss the Lich King Grocery Team? Um, so I booted up G-Hub and it won't start. It's just stuck at the whole, like, the you know, the G with the thing and it does all the funky little loading sort of and it just was stuck there. Um, so I closed it, I refunded your points and I turned the redeem off because it's currently non-functional. Uh, so hopefully after the stream I can hit the reset button and uh, maybe that'll help. Because I know I had an update recently and maybe it wants me to restart but didn't tell me. Um... Um, uh, please call me Sven. I will try my best to remember that. My apologies. Yeah, I usually just kind of go with, like, a shortened version of a username, so I just chop the end off. Um, but... I do try my best to remember. I've got a terrible memory, but I will do my best to remember. Thank you for letting me know. Do you have photos? Yes! I used to use Zygors. Haven't used it for years. I love Zygor. It's so useful. It's so, so useful. But not for everyone, understandably. Uh, I hope I said it all is off the list of Mount Zeta now. Ah, congrats, S. Congratulations. Well done on this Gengar raid. They announced 14 the other day. Might make 13 cheaper. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um, because it's uploaded through Throne and it had, like, they check for, um, like, price adjustments and stuff like that because it's an Amazon link. Yeah, they'll, they'll automate that. Um... If it is cheaper, they will automatically adjust it for us. It's a level, thank you. Still surprised you remember me. It's the Nightborn Hunter is now level 20. Time to go shopping, rejoin stream for the tea stop. Sounds, sounds like a plan. Much appreciated. It has definitely not dropped yet.
Let's turn this in. What might your purpose be? On to the next tune. Oh, it's a warlock. Am I? Ah, oh, I'm in Warspear. <laughs> Sometimes we get a bit confused. I've got so many characters. Where on earth are they all? Good question. To Maldraxxus. Let's um, make a hellstone. Some steward. Oh, battle. Wonderful!
Yuko, Kruger, and Slane, and Meaty. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. Well done. Oh, skin chest time. Make sure you place those units if you want to score a new skin. Fantastic. Hmm. Right, I placed my monk, so I should turn that in. Our enemies gather for another assault. Strike them down first and put an end to their threat. Musketeers. Did I place my orcs there? I must have. I can't place a musketeer yet. Okay. Healer. Does WoW players from Australia play on US servers? Uh, yep, so the region is called Americas and Oceania. That is the name of the region. Uh, so yes. Uh, North America, Oceanic, uh, I think Latin America, Brazil. If you've got it down the bottom, when you're choosing your realm, when you're choosing your server, if you can pick the server, you can play with people on them. So all those tabs down the bottom, you can change through them and see all the different servers you can play on. Um, so yeah, our servers are physically located in Australia, but we can we can play we can group up with people from America or Latin America or Brazil. Yeah, battle plan absolutely can do. There you go. Aha, yes, very easy way to check whether or not you can play with someone. Can you create a character on their server? Yes, yes, you can. Super easy. Today. Sure, crunchy. You play Europe? Yes, Europe we cannot play together with. But yeah, anyone on anyone who plays on the realms that you've got access to the tabs for, then you can play with them. Uh, we can lack though, we can. We can do loot appraiser challenges though. Mm. 
What is everybody up to? Because you want to be fantastic. Enjoy. Hope it's delicious. Right, one down. Next area. Rally Mouse Axis and go to bed. Sounds like a plan. Well done on finishing the zone. Oh, I'm hoping I'll be able to at least finish this one. That would be nice. If I can finish this one, it would mean I've only got two left to do in Maldraxxus, which means next time we have a leveling stream, I'll be able to finish it. How much do we for? 200. $200 for Are You Okay? How awesome is that? How fantastic. We were sitting at 150 for a little bit, and then right at the end, we had one final donation as I was looking for somebody to raid. Excuse me, and capped us off at 200. Absolutely beautiful. Such generosity. Who's leveling? Hello, Jack. Doing very well, thank you. Uh, we're down to three left to do in Maldraxxus, and we are up to date. We're up to today in terms of percentage, which is great. I'm trying to... I want to get a little bit ahead, because the next six weeks are just broken. But, um... Well, seven weeks. Really. Uh, no, six. The next six weeks of my life are just broken. But, um, look, it'll be fine. We'll go as well as we can. And of course, next weekend is our three day marathon extravaganza, Fia's Phone Fundathon. Uh, so, hopefully, we'll have uh, a few contributions towards a new phone for Fia. And uh, hopefully, we'll get at least a good chunk of 36 hours worth of stream uh, devoted to leveling done. Uh, but we'll see how we go. We will see. But that's okay, no worries at all. Good evening indeed to Jack. Alright, here we go. Let's squish some stuff, shall we? Hello, Gra. I know you've got the uh, no audio badge on at the moment, but just in case that was left on accidentally, I hope you're having a fantastic day.
How the leveling was going? Fantastic. It's not going too badly. Not too badly, Shadow Priest and Shadowlands now. Fantastic, Timur. Well done. Such a good feeling when you like hit that point and you're like crossing into the next area, hey? is best phrase. Even rhymes must be true. It rhymes because you're using the same word. <laughs> That's cheeky. I know my shadow frame Lego can manage without. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You, you look, you get there. You get there. For sure. Rhymes, rhymes with rhymes. It does. <laughs> Do they? Does it technically rhyme if it's the same word? Is like I know that's a technicality, but is that like? Can you say that they rhyme if they're the same word? Nope. There you go. Thank you, Meaty. You can say rhymes is rhymes. <laughs> but they don't technically rhyme because they are the same word. This way, does it not rhyme? Or well, potentially, technically, yeah. Just checking a thing. Uh, also, leveling is a shadow priest with glyph of friends. One makes running around with Drax super funny. Technically, true is the best kind of true. But you see, fear they aren't the same word. One is s priest, the other is priest. Yeah, but s priest is an abbreviation of shadow priest, and priest is in fact the same word as priest. Friends again now. <laughs> Some chat members in mod, I'm going to bed. Rest well. We will see you next time, Meaty. Thank you so much for hanging out. Spreest. Spreest. Love you. Oh. What words that are spelled the same but have different meanings? Ooh, that's a tricky one. I am, I'm honestly not sure how to pronounce that. Spryest, personally. Perfect. They certainly don't rhyme then, do they? Let's hear it. You have your orders. 
Ah, oh, you're all bonkers. Spray priest, orange shmurka. <laughs> oh lord. Oh dear. Everything. For you, I offer only the fight. Excellent. A new test subject. <sighs> Bring it back around. Joke went full circle today. It did several times. Depends on how he pronounces priest. Jack has an accent, remember? Yeah, but like. <laughs> Everyone has an accent. True. This is true. Oh, gosh. Oh. Hi, oh. Uh, I'm good users in this one, right? Yes. Yes, you are. Oh, see ya. Thank you for checking. Jackson, if oh no! <laughs> oh my lord, Shiva, you've had that energy drink, haven't you? Ooh, something smells like burning. Like burnt, sp very specifically, like burnt pancakes. I've had two, even better. This penny is not sense. Oh no. Oh, did I do a slashy? Probably not. I've been distracted by Sheba and his two fucking energy drinks. A penny. That's not very nice. It's not a nice ship, but turn to the dark side. It's the energy drink. It's the energy drink, I guarantee you. I see a bio that you work in finance. Sounds rich? Definitely not. I'm part time. Part time, bottom rung in finance. I am what one would call a bookkeeper. I do payroll and I pay invoices and I balance the accounts. But I'm good with my money, and I, I, like, I'm good with numbers, which is why finance works for me. And uh, it also, like, the things that I've learned through, uh, through my jobs in the park, I've done, like, I, I've done a few different areas of, of finance through a few different roles in my past. Um, but it, like, managing money helps. Look, some people in finance, it doesn't help them manage their own money, but for me, it definitely has. Like, I've... I've learned how to do my own budgets by balancing, like, company books. I can balance my own books and, and see trends and patterns and stuff like that. Even though I don't do budgets, like, I don't run budgets for, um, for the company I work for, it's, like, I still have some involvement. I get to see those and, and like, do stuff associated with them. So, it, yeah, I've got a lot of transferable skills. Um, one of my earliest jobs... My very first full-time job was uh, selling credit cards um, for a bank. And so, like, I learned all of the ins and outs of credit cards. I learned not just how to sell them, but how they work. All the little hooks where they get you and, and how they make money. How a bank makes money off a credit card. So I can avoid that. Um, yeah, it's, it's useful. But yeah, I'm I'm definitely not rich, definitely not flush. But I'm uh, I know how to make my money work for me. 
rather than being a, a slave to a credit card or something. Ah, uh, that's a lie. I am incapable. I'm Canadian. That's not. Look. look. I'm Scottish. I can I have an accent. <laughs> God, Slane, I love reading through Scottish Twitter, Facebook posts, the fact there's so many spell the same way, I'll speak is gold, yep, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And then you come across the occasional one where you're like, I have tried to read this like 17 times and I do not know what it says. <laughs> That's beautiful. Art. Uh, do you have a degree in finance? I don't. I don't. I my degree. I do have a degree, uh, but it's in forensic biology, which is not exactly finance. New recruits means the need to tame additional mounts. Only the bravest, or most foolish, <laughs> are able to capture a wild blade. Speaking like you can understand me. Ah. <laughs> uh. And did a degree in microbiology working in financial management. Oh, no way! There you go. Science changed to money again. Yep. That's hilarious. gonna get a ding fairly soon not super soon but fairly soon which will be nice If we can't squeeze out another day of progress. Is it worth going to university? I've been thinking about it. I'm 29 soon, so I'm getting old. It depends on what you want to do. Um, like, university is genuinely, like, there are some career paths where you cannot get into it unless you have a degree. There are some career paths where you can get in at entry level, like at basement level, and you can maybe get a promotion or two, but you can't go any higher than this unless you have a degree. However, if you're valuable enough to the company, if they like you enough and they want you to grow with them, if they want if they want you to stick with them, then they may offer to contribute towards, like you know, maybe pay some of your your um, like college bills and stuff like that. Um, keeping in mind that if you do go that path and a, and a, and an employer pays part of your way, there will be an expectation that you stick with that company and pay them back for what they paid for you. Uh, not that they like deduct from your pay or anything, it's more like they need to get their money's worth out of you. Um, so they may ask you to sign a contract that means that you're with that company for five or six years or something like that after you finish your degree so they can get their money's worth out of you. Similar to how officer school in the military works in some places. Um, and then there are some careers where you don't need, like, you don't need anything at all. You don't even need a qualification. You just need, like, um, the way that I ended up getting into finance, I have no finance qualifications at all, not even like a TAFE degree, nothing, uh, a TAFE certificate, nothing. Um, what I did was I was admin. I did like standard office work. Uh, and then I managed to get into a, a job. Like I was in a call center and then I got off the phones and did admin. And then some of that admin was chasing accounts. And so I used that as my in to get another admin job that had a bit more finance in it. Um, and then 
from there, I had the experience in, you know, purchase orders and entering accounts and, and coding things out and blah, 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 blah. And then from there, I was able to get a job that was purely finance. Uh, but that was across multitudes of years. Like that was across a span of about seven or eight years that I went from zero finance to a finance job. And in finance, for example, like if that's the career path you're looking for, I can be a bookkeeper. That's it. If I want to grow, if I want to go up the ladder, I would need a degree or a certificate. Potentially, like depending on how far I wanted to go, I'd probably even have to go and try and get a master's. Um, but it, it just depends on the it depends on the industry you want to get into. Very, very heavily. There are some industries where you need nothing except the willingness to work your ass off. And then there are some where even if you have a ton of applicable experience, they won't even look at you if you don't have the piece of paper. It very much de depends on what you want to do. Um, so what I would suggest that you do is figure out what you want to do for, or figure out what you want to aim for. You know, like, fuck, when I was 29, I was still like, I, I was, um, actually, when I was 29, that was when I quit my last full-time job so that I could have a part-time job so I could put more effort into my streaming. So that gives you a bit of perspective. Um, Got some perspective food. Nom and nom and nom. Thank you. Did you want me to check the fish? I checked mine. I haven't checked yours. That's perfect. Um, is this salad? What is this salad meant to have in it? Okay, so it is supposed to be zucchini. Okay, cool. Just checking. I am going to wet your cup. Please don't. Um, but yeah, so what I what I would recommend that you do is have a think about what you might want to do. What you want to aim for. And then find someone in your circle. They will someone someone in your circle will know someone. Like maybe it's a a friend of a friend or a a family member or like a family friend or something like anything someone in your circle or, or outside of that who does that and ask them how they got there even better ask multiple people in that in that career path how they got there um if you don't if you genuinely don't know anybody anywhere close to that you can have a look at places like linkedin if you decide you want to do finance and you want to do it at this big finance firm right go on linkedin have a look at that firm and who works there. Pick someone who's like roughly at a level you'd like to attain one day and see what they have. See what they have listed as their education. See what they have listed as their work experience to see how they climbed that ladder, that kind of stuff. It's all about the research. University is definitely worth it for some people. It is not for everybody. And there is no shame in not having a degree. It is not something that everyone can go and get. And it's not something that everyone should go and get. Thank you. Babo Tate, no. Hi. Mm. Enjoy. Um. Uh, if he had everything going for her, become a true crime podcaster, but instead she chose virtual violence. Yeah. True crime podcasts didn't even exist really back. When I was in uni, I don't think. Oh, maybe maybe it was like well, podcasts didn't really exist. Um, look, I'm I'm old. <laughs> uh, Fear, what is the reason for all the alts? As I don't know the answer, so I thought I would ask. Uh, heartbreaker. That's literally a heartbreak amount. Love is in the air. Mount that is a 1 in 3,333 drop chance. And um, you get one attempt per character per day. So, more characters, more attempts. Maximum number of characters you can have on one account is 50. So here we are. 
Uh, I feel if it's something you want to do, then it's 100% worth it. Yeah, there's a lot more than just the piece of paper that you get out of university, but you get out what you put in as well. Um, I don't use my degree. I, I, I'm not working in forensics or in medicine or, or anything, anything like that, so I don't use my degree. However, the skills that I learned while I was at university, critical thinking and research and teamwork and solo work and deadlines and managing priorities and all that kind of stuff, I use all of those every goddamn day. Every goddamn day. Uh, so, that, like, you learn more than just the textbook stuff in uni. Uh, however, at age 29, there's a good chance that you've learned a lot of that throughout your life anyway. You may have learned that through like your jobs and, and work and stuff like that instead of via a degree. Uh, because I went to uni, I took a gap year uh, after, after high school. So I turned 18 in the February after high school graduation. Um, so I was 17 at the end of the year and then I turned 18. I took that year off. And then when I turned 19, I started uni. Uh, and I was in uni for four years. Uh, it was a three-year degree, but I failed one subject, and it was highly structured, so it threw out the whole thing, and I took four. But it meant that my last year was part-time, and I had a part-time job, so it worked out well for me. Slain, Joe, Paul, Meaty, Pulse, Heldrick, Prof, and Neri, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Um, but yeah, so there's, there is a lot to learn from university, but it is not the learning method for everybody, uh, and it's not necessary for everybody either. Sooner and reward, I don't need a reason to have mine. I just love making new tunes. Fair, fair. It is also useful in that I'll have extra attempts per week for certain, you know, drops and, and stuff like that. I've got them evenly split across all the classes. I have four of everything with an extra, like a bonus mage and a bonus druid. Those bonuses are going to be deleted and they're going to become evokers in Dragonflight. Um, so, yeah, it's a. Uh, it, it just, it makes, a, like, farming collectibles a lot easier, too, when you have all those options. Not that it really matters at this point, but there is a setting in Zygor that I found that makes it stop suggesting to replace your alien. Yeah, there is, but it also, doesn't it, um, doesn't it stop all suggestions? Ah, do not replace heirloom items. Interesting. Cool. I hadn't noticed that one. That must be a relatively new one. Thank you for that. Uh, temping for the win. Uh, well, as entry level, yeah, absolutely. Temping is a good way to like slot in and, and get some experience and see whether or not you enjoy it as well. And then once the contract's up, you can just go for something completely different if you so if you so desire. Um, how old are you? If you don't mind me asking, I'm 32. Uh, 32 and a half. No, I'm turning 33. Um, in in uh, next year in February. I never ask a lady that. I, d I don't care, Akia. Uh, like, that's, that's, um, I, I don't think you, like, if you're not gonna ask a lady that, I think it's more you don't ask anybody that, because it's, you know, everyone deserves the same level of respect and politeness, but I don't mind. And it's especially considering that it's quite appropriate to this conversation, um, like, the age at which I left a particular job and decided to transition to a completely different career path and all that kind of thing. Like, it's, I think it's important to hear, especially as a 29-year-old thinking about work, uh, thinking about heading back to uni. Um, that's a pretty like that's a mature age student, um, and it can be quite scary because your 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 life is very different at 29 than it is at 19, um, and not everyone at that age has the support system to be able to stop and go back to university and and you know all that kind of stuff. So. Um, yeah, but I, you know, I, I started streaming when I was around 26, um, and I, I, it was a hobby, it was just whatever at first, and then they introduced the affiliate program and I started making money. I did make some money before then, um, I had, uh, for those of you who remember GameWisp, it was an external third party platform that allowed you to set up subscribe, like subscription things, um, with your own benefits and stuff that you implemented uh, for people so they could support you even if you weren't a Twitch partner. Because back then only partners could get subscribers and stuff. Uh, so yeah, I, I used that and I did get some donations and stuff. Uh, and then once affiliate, once the affiliate program kicked in and uh, 
I, I started streaming more and kind of learning bits and pieces. Uh, my income started increasing and it got to the point income wise that I was able to reduce my full time hours at work. Around that time, um, like early on in my streaming, I was diagnosed with an autoimmune condition. And so my health was not ideal. I mean, it hadn't been for a long time, but I finally had an answer. Um, and working full time had always drained me. And so having the stream enabled me to be able to work part time and stream part time. Uh, and then as time has gone on, I've been able to invest more and more time into streaming and it's getting to the point, like, you know, I became partnered and I've been landing some sponsors and stuff. Like I've seen some fantastic success and I'm now getting to the point where I'm like, okay, I want to go full time. We're close. Let's make it happen. Uh, but that would be like, you know, me leaving my job, like me becoming self-employed at 33 or maybe 34 or, you know, depending on how quickly we can get there kind of, you know what I mean? Like it's, I don't see it happening before my birthday. So, um, but yeah, that's a, that's a huge change relatively like not many some people like lots and lots of people do change those kind of paths later on in life but um Hi, the sun well. people seem to be a bit scared sometimes and that's reasonable sam with the resub at tier 3 20 months oh my god full-time fear let's make it happen yes absolutely i was saying earlier on in stream sam that i absolutely have to have once it happens in the merch store a full-time fia t-shirt <laughs> i don't care if nobody buys it i just i want it for me um but yeah it's a it's a big thing so age does definitely play a factor into those some of those kind of things and i'm um yeah i'm not i'm not super secretive about my age so it's okay still not over the zucchini cucumber issue all the nums, yes. Didn't know what I wanted to do. Didn't do the degree I accepted for. Feel it to uni in the dark ages. I did, correct. Join the army now. They're paying for a degree for me. Fantastic. And yeah, that's one of the like. That's a way a lot of people tend to do it is that they enlist. Um, and the the military pays for their degree, so they have no hex debt. Uh, in in Australia in particular. Um, and then after they finish their degree, they're locked into the military for X number of years. And then once that contract finishes, oh, you can good. go and do whatever the hell you bloody well want in civilian life. Or you can continue oh, on with the military, depending on what you personally decide you want to do. It's not for everyone. That path isn't for everyone. Just like university is not for everyone. Uh, but it is an option that's out there. Mm, Self-taught artist with a high school degree and a desire to get further education. Make it worth month to month, thankfully. Yeah, absolutely. It also helps that you have the option to stay with your parents as well, Shiba. Like, it's... Um, for a lot of people, that's just not an option. Um, and so having to aim for higher education is a necessity for them to try to support themselves in that. But for others, it's not as well. So it's all very, very personal decisions. A diploma degree? No idea. I think diploma is higher. Um, no, well, it depends, I think. Um, I think it depends on where you're going. But, I mean, you have, like, a Cert 3, Cert 4, Cert 5, but I, I think then you have, like, a graduate diploma, like a grad dip, and then you've got bachelor's degree... Master's doctorate, I think. You new here. Stay sharp out there. Degree. Yes, university degrees uh, require a minimum of three years of full-time study, while diplomas need only two years at the very most. Most diplomas can be completed within a year or much less. So yeah, it is diploma then degree. Um, but depending on what you're looking to do, some careers, some career paths offer diplomas, some don't. Some offer degrees, some don't. Um, it just, it really, really depends on what you want to do. I is old, I'm scared to ask what 47 is. No, it's, it, like, it, none of it, none of it is old, but it can be quite scary when you've just only figured out, like, how to do the work thing and the social life thing and all that kind of, like, you've just kind of gotten that sort of set up and then you're like, huh, I'm looking at potentially tossing all this out the window to go back to school. For some people, it's a little scarier than others. It just, you know, again, personal. I never went 
to uni either. Started in tech support call center, went my way through the high levels to the ops center. Now I work for a tech company control center, doing literally nothing, babysitting servers for good money, and I play WoW at work. Perfection, amazing. No degree. Imagine fifty adventure tables. I've got fifteen at the moment. Um, so look, it's not fifty, but it's getting there. Garrisons, you're welcome. I was making a set profile for all my alts to use. Notice the alien button. It's been nice, absolutely. Uh, temping was way into the org I've been at for over 20 years. Uh, yeah, 100% temping is a really good way, especially like if you're not sure where exactly you fit. Because um, temping, you may do like two months here and three months there and blah blah, and then eventually you'll end up staying with a company for ages. And then they buy out your temp agency and take you on board. That's how I got my last full time job. I was temping on reception. And they asked me to interview for an admin position that had opened up within the building elsewhere, and I did, and they took me on. And that was the one where I started, like, that's that's what I, like, having the little bit of a touch of finance thing from the previous job helped me get that one. Uh, when I moved to Brisbane, I signed up with a temp agency. I was living in Sydney previous. So, yeah. I looked back. With the server baby said you don't have much to do this because you're doing a good job. Correct! It's similar, did quite a bit of temping in holidays initially, then straight after uni, last one became permanent, was there for 13 years. Amazing. Remember Game Wisp, right? But that was ages ago. I've been streaming for like six and a half years now. So it's, uh, it's, yep, yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. Mmm, have a dream. Emote only mode, that's probably a good idea. If it hasn't already been done. Um. And it fixes if they go down. It only really happens once every few months. Literally get paid to play WoW right now. Speaking of shirts, is that a Game of Thrones shirt? It is. It is. Die Wolves. Uh, but my half of my universities, they force me into subjects that are in nowhere relevant to my course. That, I don't believe. Genuinely, I don't believe you. Um, often the subjects, they may not look like they're applicable, but they are. They just might not be in ways that you can see yet. Um, a lot of universities, the idea is to prepare you for the real world. So if you're using this particular degree, you can go into job A, B, C, or D, and your the subject that you're doing may help you with C and uh, like B and C, but you're looking in A's direction, so you can't see how it's helpful. But it can help you in diversifying your skill set so that you are able to get other jobs in case your narrow path that you're wanting to take there aren't any availabilities. You can diversify and do something else while waiting for your dream job to open up. Like universities are very, very, very good at knowing what those career paths need and how to diversify you with as little effort as possible. Yeah, I, I, I don't believe that it's a useless subject. Um, Yes, I'm extremely thankful to have a place my parents definitely not able to afford to not survive on my own. I'm very lucky to have what I have. Of course, of course. I mean, like, we've all, like, most of us, I would imagine, uh, are incredibly grateful to have what we have. Um, we was definitely not trying to call you out or anything, Sheep. Sorry, I just realised that could have come across a bit badly. But no, it's, um, yeah, we've all got our own different circumstances and some of them are good, some of them are not as good. Um, but yeah, we take what we've got. Still, my parents are 28, well, I'm thinking about moving out. Save a lot of money living at home those extra years. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. I went to university interstate, so I moved out at 19. Yep. Yeah. Um, maybe not the best decision I've ever made, but I'm pretty. I'm doing pretty okay for myself, so I'm, I'm happy with that. 2% people who are 18 to 32 live with their parents now. Living at home is becoming the norm. It is. It is. Um, I do wonder sometimes how the, the parents feel about that, because they were, you know, although they also married a lot younger, in the previous generations as well. So they would like move out to live with their spouse kind of thing. Hey Lucky, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. Um, go, doing an accounting course. Have to take an IT subject about electronic circuits, the inside workings of a computer. Are you sure you have to do that? Or did that automatically drop into your thing because you didn't choose your electives fast enough? Although, having said that, a lot of entry-level finance folk tend to be the de facto IT support in a, any given office, uh, what I've noticed. I've, I've always been, like, de facto IT support, and that was even before they knew that I was a gamer outside of my workplace sort of thing. So that's kind of... Mm, sometimes. 
want to do that stuff that sounds cool. I am just chilling before a hectic work week. How has stream been? Stream has been very, very good. We've caught up. We've caught up on the, the level. We're not a day ahead yet. Actually, are we? I am a day ahead now. Brilliant. I'm a day ahead. Doing well. I'm hoping to get this tune finished before we finish up stream. Uh, we've got a while to go. Don't stress. But yeah. Yeah, a list of subjects I need to do. I'm not a paladin. Uh... Can I work when the computers go down? Would be quite tricky. Might come in handy. I mean, you can always ask. Like every every oh, course oh, has oh. like a, a course head, and that course head will have a couple of assistants who can oh. answer you know basic questions and stuff like that. You yeah, can always go to them and ask why is this subject required? Like what what why will it help me gain a job in future? And they'll be able to give you an answer. And if they can't, then you can take it higher and have the course changed. Like. If it's if it's that like if it's that upsetting, if you really don't want to do it, then there is always options, always always. It may be school, but it's not like it's adult school. <laughs> it's grown up school. Our course like our our course heads were always available for anything, and if they couldn't, like if they were busy because they were off, you know, doing whatever people do when they're professors. Um, uh, they had, um, like, masters and doctorate students and stuff like that that would work as their, as their assistants for extra cash, and, um, they'd answer the questions for you. But yeah, always worth reaching out, just like in the real world, just like in the adult world. If you don't understand something, ask. Ah, oh dear. It's like I'm not a value. <laughs> yep. Thank you. Just a little upgrade. The first time we was 146 to 278. Holy cow, Dunno. Well done. If you're doing a high level large data accounting course, you better be learning that course. Yeah. There you go. There you go. It might also be that, you know, they've realized that finance courses. They're not just money anymore. You have to, like like Jack said, you know, if you're doing high level large data accounting, then you're going to need that. Even if you, like, even if you didn't need it five years ago, you do now kind of thing. I don't know. As I said, I don't have a finance degree, um, but I, I guarantee you there will be a reason for it. Sitting in on a lot of high-level statistics courses too with the same people. E yep. Finance isn't all just counting money and matching up receipts to transactions. It's uh, there's a lot of like predictions and and writing several different levels of stuff. Uh, you know, just in case this happens or in case that happens. You know, um, what's the not not backup, but like um, contingency. There we go. Contingency budgets and, and all this kind of like it's finance is complex as hell. Not at my level. I'm a bookkeeper. Like I'm my title is assistant accountant, but my I'm I'm essentially a bookkeeper. Um, I just make sure people get paid and make sure the accounts balance. That's it. Uh, but my manager, good lord, yeah, no, that's um. Having to present reports on the finance level, like on on what's going on in finance, to the board of directors and and things like that, when they like, yeah, it's it's full on. Um, it does make such a difference. It does. It sure does. Uh, if there is something I need to train before going to college, university is discipline. Yes. Yeah. It is. Uh, university is very very much like if you don't push your, if you don't do it, no one's gonna make you. They'll just fail you. That's it. There's no checking in on you. How are you going with your home? No. Nah. No. Nah. If you don't do it, it doesn't get done and you fail. Simple as that. What have you got to you're an adult. It's, that's what it is. You're, you're an adult. And they expect you to, to treat it with the seriousness of a job. When you go to a job and you're given a set of tasks you need to complete, 
you do them or you get put on probation and then you get fired. It's the same thing at uni. If you don't do it, you just you, you just fail. That's why I failed one of my subjects, because I didn't like it. It wasn't interesting to me particularly. And so I didn't do the work and then I failed. You bet your ass I did the work that I did the second time around. I managed to retain some of it and took it from a, a uh, from a fail to a distinction, but I had to do it and it cost me an extra year of my life because I had to push out my degree to, it took four years instead of three. Um, so you're very welcome, Donna. very welcome. This is male undead called Cinderfella, medically based on you guess it's Cinderella, got sparkling glass slippers and reward, fantastic. Wonderful. Uh, and it helps to know the topics I'll be teaching you. Asymptotic rotation, basic logic, manipulate data efficiently. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, so you get time walking 278 item you get from the complete five dungeons. Is that one per turn once each time walking event? Each time walking event you get the quest. It's like it's a weekly quest, and that weekly quest changes depending on what the current uh, event is. It's a good money accounting moment, honestly. It's what my new job is about. Invoicing, reconciling, liaising with customers, workers at the same time. Seven days in total already. Point of contact. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, that's, that's your job. Your job is to be a point of contact. So you're doing your job. You're being trained still, but you're still, that's your job. I <laughs> don't think my mage has it this time around. Uh, you will. Just, um, it might have been automatically accepted and not being tracked or something like that, but, um, yeah, no. That's, uh, the, the item to get the 500 badges, um, is, is every time walking event and the, the, like, what's it? Uh, shift J. I won't, uh, there you go. During, like, bonus time, bonus, bonus event time walking. Um, so you'd need to, like, yeah, if it's not in your thing already, then you can or you can grab it from your uh, adventure journal. I can't because I'm not 60. Um, that is a max level. Ah, oh, that might be it. If you're under max level, then you won't have the quest to get the piece of loot because it's max level only. To prevent being an adult sucks. I disagree. I disagree. Sure, there's responsibility and shit, but I also have access to the world. Um, and I've learned so much and can make my decisions and... Yeah. I disagree. Well, she said my class show up or don't, I get paid either way. Yep, that's that's it. One of my one of my first classes, they basically said, this is not high school. We are not babysitting educate like we are not babysitters slash educators. Um, we are we are here to teach you a thing. If you don't show up, we're not going to call your parents to find out where you are. That's not how this works. You're not being dropped off and picked up. It's you're either here or you're not. You either do your work or you don't. It is up to you, and the effort you put in will be reflected in your grade. More effort in, the grade will go up. But less effort in your grade will go down, regardless of where your starting point is. Obviously, everyone will have a different starting point depending on how well you learn and retain information and blah 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 blah. But yeah, it's you're an adult and you're gonna be treated like one. Um halfway through the subject and I've already failed it, try my best, couldn't understand the majority of it. Damn. Well, look, I mean, do, you can still do your best because whatever you can manage to retain from this time around, if you have to, if it's a necessary part of your degree, the second time around, you'll already, you'll be starting with a leg up because you'll already have the, inf like, don't give up. Continue to do it even if you're going to get the fail because that information you do manage to retain, you may get, like, you might just scrape in with a pass or if you if you do fail... All that information you manage to retain, the 47% the or the 36% or the 12% that you manage to retain from this round will give you a leg up in the next round. You should definitely still, like, take it, like, take advice from, from someone who failed a subject and, and gave up halfway through. I managed to retain enough from that first half of the semester that I, I got into a distinction in my second attempt. 
it's like it does help it does help lots of good things about it though too yep absolutely being an adult is being able to have ice cream for dinner you also have to pay for it you do you do Myself some ice cream I'm 35 I still forget I can buy what I want when I'm shopping yep yep go to the guy next to the vault to pick it up so much help with Ben and Jerry's in the freezer really should finish it hey Strang welcome back welcome back here's Shift J got it for me too thanks both of you fantastic wonderful yeah it really fucked me up my second year uni first one was so easy I didn't feel like I had to go into class and stuff I did the same thing second year and now I have to redo second year I didn't have to redo second year but um I my my failed subject was in the first semester of my final year but I did VCE Victorian Certificate of Education um and I went to university in New South Wales so the from what I learned from back then, I'm sure it's very, very different now, but the way it was back then, first year of uni essentially covers, like recovers briefly what you did in high school and then extends on it to make sure that, you know, just like, just to remind you, this is where you started, especially if people take gap years and things like that. This is where you started and now this is where we're going to go. Um, but for me... The where we were gonna go was also covered in my high schooling. So like, I, I don't know what happened there in terms of curriculum, but the Victorian curriculum for high school was just that far ahead of the New South Wales curriculum for year 12. Um, I, I don't know, but that my entire, entire first year of university, both first and second semester, was a rehash of what I bloody well did in high school. So I, I breezed through. Every subject was a high distinction. Every single subject, all eight of them in my first year, I got HDs. And then second year, I got a couple distinctions and a couple credits. And then first semester, third year, I got a fail and a couple of passes. And I went, well, shit. And then I pushed it back up to credits in my second semester of year three. And then year four, which I did part time, um, I, I got mostly credits and, and then a couple of distinctions so like yeah when I realized like oh no <laughs> and I started pushing it my GPA was trash uh but yeah it was just you got you gotta have you gotta work yourself like you have to do it yourself and it really just messed me up I had breezed through school and high school like I think there was one test one math test in the entirety of my high schooling that I didn't score a hundred. I I have an affinity with numbers. Or an affinity for number. I don't know what the correct grammar is there, but like the numbers just work for me. They make sense. Um it, they they're easy to me. I know they're not easy to everybody, and that's I, I get that, but for me, they are. I just, I don't know how to explain it. They, it just, it just happens. It just, it works. So then jumping into university and it was just like, I, I couldn't just breeze through. Uh, and yeah, it was, it was a whole thing. <laughs> Stepped on me. Oh no, Jess. Well done. Well done. I may have two degrees in the planning of becoming a dang farmer. Love it, Kim. Amazing. Sweets of a child, have rid of it. Yes, being an adult is mostly more cleaning than you'd like, yeah. Yeah, I, I can agree with that. I figured out that money is not everything. It's important to find something to work with that one likes. I had this money motivation all the time when it came to jobs that only made me depressed. Yeah, it's it's a balance. I, I would say that it's definitely a balance. Um, you need to make enough money to live life comfortably, to be able to afford all of your bills and to do the things that really spark joy. Um, and, you know, to be able to enjoy the, the, the beauty that life has to offer. That shit's expensive, yo. Um, so you need enough money to be able to do that. But also you need to enjoy your job. There are very few people in this world that can do a job that they hate for big bucks for an extended period of time. You need to find the balance between those two, between the money and the love. Yeah, I completely fucked the flunked a module. 
Uh, like, didn't even write a word down. My last semester didn't have time before resets to catch up on a whole semester of work. Yeah. To get 40% in everything. And if you don't, that's it. You're done. Even one failed module and you don't move on. Yeah. Yep. The average is about 60. I got one zero and have to redo it. It sucks. Yep. Yep. That's alright. Look. Look. You may have failed the subject, but you still learned something. Mmm. <laughs> For you're a nerd. I like to think of it that um, my my affinity f for numbers and and my my knowledge in finance and all that kind of stuff and my my ability to budget like super super well means that I am able to potentially content create full time because content creation income is massively variable you can have a really cracking month and then a month that's just trash like it your apps it, it fluctuates madly and so being good with the budget all that kind of like someone who maybe isn't as good with money as i am may get a good month and spend it all and then have a trash month and fall behind on rent because they can't afford to, because they have no money from the previous really good month, you know? So, like, excuse me, I, I think that it's definitely a skill that's going to benefit me as I move towards full-time content creation, because when I have those good months, I'm going to be able to put that cash aside and cover myself when the months aren't as good, or, or when, a month when I don't have any sponsored streams versus a month where I have six or seven, you know? Like, it's because of that fluctuation it can be really really dangerous and so having the ability to stabilize myself will will come in very very handy number nerd yas that's kind of nerd Correct word nerd is better because alliteration. But alliteration, firstly, is spelled with an A. And alliteration, that's just, that's rhyming. The, rhyming is the end, alliteration is the first letter. <laughs> Sorry, Zipper. Zam, Oz, Inget, Ari, Silver Molly, and Neke, congratulations to all of you on your bonusship. Well done. Here's an expert on rhyming now. Look you. Also, see, my brain read that as word shard, and I'm like, that's not right. Yeah, words are hard. Agreed. Wholeheartedly agree. So I think I'm just back to leveling again. Oh no, assists from tanking. Where's my tank? There we go. Um. Word shard, too much time spent playing WoW. Let me read that as word shard. Look, everyone's reading word shard. Beautiful. A minute is better because some number nerds go on making games. Yep, absolutely. Too many shards. So let me draw a cat from head less fall damage. Long story short, I got an achievement and an ouchie. They do have less fall damage because they're cats. Um, the ice shard has melted. 
really need a words of hard shit so freaking bad. Oh, as a kid, I wanted to be a chef and own a restaurant, so I did a cooking course in college, was taken off the course later on because I got told I was struggling. I'm sorry to hear that, Daz. That sucks. YouTube as I watch, make one, and I just need to save for it. Yep. Yep. Oh, dear. Eventually, I'll have a handful of slogan shirts that are, um... Sayings of fear. Things we say like a whole lot. Like, look, and I'm not a paladin, and uh, all that kind of stuff. He also has YouTube. I do have YouTube. It's full of clips and vods. Stay a while and listen. <laughs> oh, cooking and catering world is tough. Absolutely. Absolutely it is. <laughs> oh dear. Who's gone AFK? They keep being attacked. Oh dear. Yeah, that happens, eh? Hey? There's a fair bit. I also have a shirt with a drawing of their cat wearing safety glasses, so safety is important. Yeah! <laughs> Beautiful. there. I think we might actually finish this tune with like time to spare. Which would be interesting. And what have you done lately? Well, I've been rather busy actually. Oh, definitely not. Definitely not. We do it a lot here. A lot. Excuse me, and not just me. Like, people will type in chat in response to an NPC line. It'd be great. I actually cooked everything fine. I took home a huge lasagna I made. Fantastic. Yeah, I think, like, 
cooking courses and stuff, are, like, especially if you're looking at catering, it's less about the actual food and more about the speed and the prep and the, like, all that kind of stuff. Because, like, cooking for a family, like, for a big dinner, is not the same as preparing food for 80 to 200 people kind of thing. Like, it's just, it's so, so different. Um, I've heard a lot about, like, it's all well and good making a single serving of a dish, but it's like when you watch MasterChef and that kind of thing, and you see, you know, each individual person is doing really, really well at making their individual dishes when they're the time limit. And then you get them into the, the team challenges where they're serving 500 people in the space of a couple of hours and just churning these these dishes out over and over, and it's just... Oh, the sun they, well. they collapse in a heap. Some of them, not all of them, of course. Nab! Thank you so much for the resub. 34 months. Holy cow. That is a really long time. Thank you so much for your support. Oh, sun well. Risky! Thank you so much for your prime sub. Two months! Amazing! Thank you also for your support. We've got four and a half minutes to trigger a hype train if anyone wants to steal the conductor badge. <laughs> or unlock those emotes. Thank you both so much for those resubs and, and welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Amazing! I am doing well, thank you so much, Risky. Definitely. Doing super duper well. Busy as all hell, but uh, look, we're getting there. And that's what matters. We're getting there. Maybe Winston again. Beautiful. Go. There he is. Hype train, a hype train is close. Has your progress towards getting your 50 level 60s? I am at 70.52%. So doing pretty well, I reckon. Pretty well, I reckon. I'm I'm still quite nervous about whether or not I'm actually gonna make it in time. Um I have my next six weeks on my calendar are well, actually. Yeah, my next six weeks on my calendar are um uncomfortably busy like it's getting to the point where I'm concerned <laughs> like I don't think I want to book anything else in um so it it will be interesting to see whether or not I can kind of get some done between events and things but we'll, we'll see only one way to find out and that's to keep trying and keep pushing and even if I don't make it all the way I'll at least be closer than I was yesterday and that's what matters so yeah we're getting there. We're getting there. for the tier 2 sub 26 months holy cow thank you for your support and we have a hype train I hope you're doing so so well Zaram welcome back goodness gracious that is the Medicine second well. <laughs> this is the second hype train today you guys excuse me how dare how dare thank you so much for your generosity my god I am so grateful that, like, I'm so, so grateful for this community. You guys rock. You're really, really awesome. Honestly. Oh, dear. <laughs> no. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you know. So you should.
I'm just way too busy with work these days. Drop by regularly is now working five nights a week. Well done, though. That's awesome. Understandable, Sarah. Never, ever, ever stress. Like, I hope that you're really enjoying work and that it's fulfilling and all that good stuff. And don't forget that there are always VODs. Like, you are always welcome to check out the VODs. They're on Twitch for 60 days and then they're up on YouTube as well. Like, we've got a, we've got the backlog right the way through to, to January. The, like, this year, January was where it started. So, like, yeah, no, no harm done at all. I really appreciate that you're able to stop by every so often. It's so good. Ah, oh, life. Ain't it grand? <laughs> I did nab. That's literally everything that has been said in the Discord for the last three or four days. Or how, whenever it was announced. Nothing but that in Discord and the occasional post of food. Uh, yes. I have heard about it. <laughs> Haven't done it myself yet, but there is no end date that was listed in the article from Blizzard. So uh, I don't think I'm in any rush. We'll just see how we go. It's a very funky mount though. <laughs> totally fair. Totally fair. I mean, like, it's my Discord, so I check it like every day. I may not comment. But I do check it just to make sure everything's not exploding. Um. But yeah, it's uh, also pretty much anyone, ev uh, pretty much everything anyone's been talking about in chat for a while too. But um, yeah, it's really good. I'm so glad seeing so many people going and giving it a crack and, and getting their mount and stuff. It's awesome. Fantastically successful cross promotion, methinks. Who's got yours? Awesome. It was just for pre-patch, but I may be wrong. It doesn't say. It has no end date or anything mentioned in the in the article. If you follow the link from the Battle Net launcher, it just says complete the Death Knight starting experience on Wrath Classic. End of sentence. It doesn't say during the pre-patch, it doesn't say before date. There are asterisks, but the asterisks say that um like uh, hang on, I don't remember what the first one- The second one was that the Frostbrood Proto Drake isn't available on Classic. But the other thing... I don't think it said anything about, um... One more. Play a Death Knight in Wrath of the Lich King Classic and get a mount in WoW. It says the pre-patch is live, and with it the players can play as the Death Knight hero class before making their way into the Frozen Lands of Northrun to confront the Lich King. Players who play through the complete Death Knight starting experience, asterisk, requires completion of the quest where kings walk on Alliance characters or War Chief's blessing on board characters. In Wrath of the Lich King Classic will earn the Frostbrood Proto Worm, double asterisk, mount not available in War World of Warcraft Classic titles, um, to carry them through their adventures in Shadowlands and beyond into the upcoming Dragonflight expansion. Uh, few proto dragons were considered part of the frost brood only those that were risen from powerful remains the members of long forgotten draconic flights to learn more about the death knight hero class in our article so it just it talks about how the pre-patch has launched but it's not there's no there's no timeline for when you can get it i mean the hearthstone mount the hearthsteed i got that seven years ago and i'm fairly certain you can still go get it so it, do you know what i mean like it's um i'm i'm yeah if they announce an end date in the future, fantastic. I'll pay attention then. But uh, for now, I have higher priorities. But there you go. Good luck, good news for those of you who are really, really busy and freaking out about it. You have time. You have time. How dare you not check for his Discord? <laughs> yeah. Mm. But no, um, it was one of the first things I checked now because I was quite concerned myself. Like, oh crap, you know, I need to find time to do this. But no, it's very much... Uh, an open-ended uh, offer at the moment. Of course, that's subject to change, as as all things are, right? As all things are. Uh, should I play WoW or WoW Classic? I'm a new player. Whatever draws your attention more, Phoenix. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing wonderfully well today. Uh, but yeah, whatever, whatever draws you in more. Have a read about both of them and, and have a little bit of a play. Like, I mean, the same subscription covers both games, uh, so you don't have to pick. You could play both if you want, 
Um, but it might be a good idea to have a play around in both for a little bit and just see which one feels best for the, the kind of game you want to play, because they're quite different games at this point. Um, there are there are some big differences. Uh, but yeah, give it a crack and see what suits you better. How very different they are, aren't they? It's amazing how it's like the same game and yet somehow totally not. Time, it changes all. Which one gets updated more often or which game do more players play on, if that makes sense? Um, honestly, both. It does make sense. I understand, like, which one has the bigger player base, like, more active players and stuff, uh, or which one gets patches more frequently. They both patched relatively frequently. Like, they, they both have the same kind of update schedule. Uh, and there is a very large player base on both versions of the game. Um, it's, yeah, it, it is very, very much a personal choice. Very, like... They are quite different games. I do recommend playing both to get a feel for them and, and just decide which one you would like to play from there. Um, I know that's probably not the answer you want to hear. I'm sure you just want to be told this one is better, but it's just not like that, unfortunately. Uh, I'd rather be honest with you than, uh, than, you know, tell you something that may not be true for you. Um, time, I know it. Heading off the night. Hope you get another ding. Me too, Dunno. Thank you so much for the well wishes, and I hope you rest well. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh, you're so welcome, Phoenix. Like, I I enjoy helping people, and so when I can't, like, just help, it kind of hurts. <laughs> but yeah, no, you, you are more than welcome. Like, if you have any, like, even any other questions, like, have you, have you played either of them before? Like, have you have you dabbled in them in the past or anything like that? Or is this like the very first time you're ever setting foot on Azeroth kind of thing? How's your view to going? Going all right, dragons. Welcome back, hope you're doing well. 70.52% uh, currently. Not too bad at all. Retail is a lot faster paced. Classic is slower, if that helps you pick. Yeah, for sure. Um, Classic is well. I would like to. I would like to think that classic is more complicated. Like not not complicated, but complex, more layers, uh, and retail is a little bit simplified. But it's not really because there's guides and simulators and all that kind of stuff for both now anyway. So they're both pretty simple. Um, uh, retail has over time gotten quite a few more features and uh, quality of life updates and all that kind of stuff, but. As a result, it's a really big game. Like, it's an 18-year-old game, and there is a lot of content, uh, which can be a little bit overwhelming if you try to take it all in all at once. I definitely recommend if you go for retail that you take it slow, like take it at your own pace and just learn things as they come to you rather than trying to take all the information in all at once. Because um, information burnout is real, uh, whereas classic, it's a lot less handholdy but things come to you slower and there's not as much to learn because the game is a bit smaller uh but that doesn't mean that you're not going to get as like you get more play hours because it, it like there's less of it but it takes longer if that makes sense so you're you know you'll you can invest the same amount of time in both games and st and see decent progress in both um but classic will take you a bit a bit longer to kind of get through stuff um both of them are fun. Both of them are fun, for sure. Like, I I, I used to play back in Wrath, uh, and I enjoyed it then, and I enjoy retail now. I main, re like, I play retail, mostly. Uh, I occasionally dabble in classic. Not often, but occasionally. But it's because I've set myself goals in retail that take a fair bit of a time investment. And so spending with some of my very limited free time in classic when i could have been using that to achieve my goals in retail is a bit yeah so but that's just me personally and not everyone is going to feel that way uh and that's okay like everyone plays the games differently there is no wrong way to play except shitting on other people's experience so <laughs> so like that's it um they are very different experiences with the same spirit underneath, if that makes sense. Uh, walking past Thrallmar gets you perma-stunned by infernal landings, apparently. Yeah. That doesn't surprise me. 
I played and enjoyed Classic when it first came out, so I don't plan on doing it all again. I play and enjoy Retail now. There you go, Oz. There you go. Welcome back. Yeah, everyone, like, I've, I've got a few friends who play only Retail. I've got a few friends who play only Classic. And I have a few friends who play both. Uh, and the key thing with all of them is that they enjoy what they're doing. Um, it is a game. It is meant to be enjoyed. If you start on one type and you're just not clicking with it, that's okay. You don't have to play it. You can try the other one if you'd like to. And if you don't click with that, then that's all right too. Uh, but I f fingers crossed, I hope you do enjoy yourself. Because I love WoW. Like I, I play a lot of WoW and I enjoy it very, very much. That's always fantastic to see new players come in and have a blast, and I just, yeah, it makes my heart happy. Oh, I used to play Frozen Throne back in school in land lobbies, looking for, to get into our online. Fantastic, brilliant. Well, look, maybe give Wrath Classic a crack first, because if you've, um, especially, like, if you have played through Frozen Throne, if you've replayed through it recently, Wrath of the Lich King, it has that direct connection to Frozen Throne. It's it's Arthas, it's the Lich King, it's the Scourge. It's a direct continuation of his story. Um, and give it a try, and if you're just not jiving with it, come across to retail and see what you think. So you say retail has more layers at this point. There's a lot more of it, but it's... I mean, actually, heading into Dragonflight with talent trees and stuff again, it's probably going to be a bit more complex. But we've, like, we've paired, but we've got a couple of extra, um, like, uh, stats and things on gear. But, like, going back to, um, <laughs> I was talking to Jas earlier and he pushed a button and he's gone, what? Taunts can miss? What? I'm like, uh, yeah. <laughs> I found that hilarious. Um, but j there's just so many different balances that you have to kind of manage and make sure this is at this level and that's at this level and then prioritize this and then make sure that's over there and da -da. whereas it's a bit i find it a bit simpler on retail um it's been simplified we have other stats like you know, things have been introduced but it's also yeah i don't know um which lock do you prefer to play uh all of my warlocks are leveled in demonology uh, i know it's not like the ideal thing but i really like having a crap load of pets and something that can tank for me while i'm playing solo it's helpful to me <laughs> my retail is more intuitive than classic at a baseline level i would agree with that i would agree with that yeah you you don't need as many like blizzard have over the years kind of taken notice of the fact that so many players were relying on external guides and they've tried to make it so that new players don't necessarily need a guide. Yes, they may play better if they have one, but they don't need one. Um, do you do, do you do high keys, heroic, mythic raids, or just level up characters? I don't do mythic raids. Haven't in many, many, many years. I just it's not worth the effort. Um, occasionally I do some heroic reading and stuff. I've done a few keys and things, but not like, I've got KSM and, and not this season, but previous seasons and stuff like that. But I don't tend to do them very much on stream, uh, because, uh, I can't connect with chat as much. Focusing on what I'm doing here means that I get behind on chat and, I mean, I get behind on chat anyway, but I can't be as interactive with my community and that's what streaming's about for me. I know it's not for everyone, uh, you know, obviously things like the world first races and stuff like that, you don't, you hardly ever get any interaction from the, the creators, but for me it's different. My, my stream is very heavily, like interaction focused and I can't do that so much on the higher end content. Um, I don't just level tunes though, that's a bit of a reductive comment. Um, I, I do a whole lot, like the game is enormous. It's not just raiding and keys. Um, I collect, uh, I mount pets, toys, heirlooms, uh, no, I've got heirlooms, uh, transmog, uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, ATT, all the things. Um, I also obviously do leveling and stuff. We do the, all the events as they come by, uh, all that kind of stuff. We just, we engage with the game on all the other levels, like, Raids and dungeons are just such a small piece of the game. Um, and so I do all the other parts of the game, except PvP. Because PvP sucks. Well, no, that's not accurate. I suck at PvP. So, so I don't do it. Um, but yeah. I'm, I'm like a variety streamer, except I only play WoW. 
It's just at the moment I'm doing lots and lots of leveling because I have a deadline and it's approaching and uh, I need these tunes to be at the appropriate level for event. Um, if you mostly just PvP, piss off. <laughs> <laughs> fine gearing and Chaos classic really complicated like in retail if you just focus on item level for your armor type you'll do fine not optimal but functional at least in classic you need the right balance of stats yes that's that was more thank you so much for beautifully said beautifully said that is what i meant by complex um i know i didn't do a very good job of explaining it but that's that's yes absolutely absolutely retail feels like it has more required content seems like nowadays there's always something else to grind um I would disagree. Um, I'd say that Classic has more required content. Like, you've got to, not only do you have to hit max level, uh, but then you have to go and do these dungeons and raids in this order to get your attunements done, like your whole attunement line, so that you can unlock the next raid. Whereas here, with us, you can go straight through to 60, you can skip Corthia, unlock uh, Zerith Mortis, use some currency that you earn in the zone and some anima that you've earned through leveling and stuff to buy a few pieces of upgrades and then you're ready to jump into the most recent raid in lfr i i like i don't think any of it's required there's a lot of it that's beneficial for sure absolutely but none i don't think it's required um but some the other thing the other thing that might affect your experience there is being in a guild if there is a guild that requires you to do certain stuff in order to come to raid then that's, yeah, that's that's a different thing. Uh, but it's not required by the game. That's an artificial, like, player set requirement. Um, yeah, I, I reckon retail is a bit more strict with that kind of stuff. Although Wrath is when they kind of started doing away with most of the achievements and things, right? So maybe that's a decent shift there. But there wasn't a whole lot of catch-up type mechanics for gear level and, and stuff like that. Mm, one thing I wish they'd done is being able to play each expansion in order. Uh, so when you start on Cataclysm, no massive sword, you play the game from the beginning, you forget what I mean. I, I do, I do understand that. Um, I think the problem is that there is such a small potential player base for that that it wouldn't be worth the money that they need to expend maintaining the servers for that. That's the problem. Because in the end, they are a business. Um, it is It is a company, they are, I believe that they have shareholders and therefore they, they are obligated legally to make as much money as possible. Um, capitalism, woo. Uh, but yeah, so because they like because there's just not enough desire, and even even if there was enough desire, a person might play through it once, and then they'd leave. Like you know, so it, they'd might maybe get this big massive rush for the first year or so, and then it just that's it. It'd be dead. Um, plus, like the phasing and stuff required to be able to do all that kind of thing. I know they have phasing, and it, it's easy to implement. Um, I, I mean, I assume it's easy to implement. They've done a lot of it lately, so it must be getting easier. But um, yeah, I don't know. It, and it might, with the phasing, with so many players split into all these different phases, it might make the game feel emptier than they than, I, than they want it to and stuff. It's, it is. I'm sure that they've had the idea proposed to them before, though, and it is a like that would be awesome. I would, I would absolutely play through all that and just like that'd be very cool. But I don't see it happening. But never say never. Always the possibility. Anything is possible. This is something I have learned in the last couple of months. Anything. Anything is possible. I just did something in my chat for you. Uh oh. One thing I don't miss from Classic is mana regen and the five second rule. Oh my god, yes. I mean, there is crummy time, is basically what that is. Well, you could, but once you hit 50, it boots you out. I don't have pre cataclysmic zones though. This is also true. I mean, is everything has happened? The sword in the ground, cataclysm you can go everywhere. Huh? Okay, I'm not a fan of PvP. Yeah, look. Occasionally I will dabble, but no, not often. Uh, true, including pre cataclysmic zones by a crow would be so confusing. A lot of work for very little gain. This has nothing to do with the sword. Sword is the end of Legion. Yes, I like the other level engagements. Uh, that's why. I this is one of my favorite streams after swing shifts. The ATT and Mount Runs gave me the ability to see some. I still need it. Oh, brilliant, Ari. Well, I, I hope, 
I hope against hope to return to that soon. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I am definitely enjoying the leveling, but I just, oh, I want to get back to collecting. I want to see those percentages go up. I'm seeing this percentage go up, but that's just one number. I want all the numbers to go up. Krugan, Neke, Silver Molly, Slain, Zombie, Hell, Kim, Sir Weasel, and Zem. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus Well done. Yes, fingers crossed. Sooner rather than later, I will be able, like, I'll be done with the leveling and we will get back to doing some collecting. Ah, oh, yes, but it exists. You can't play Legion with artifact weapons as they've already been nerfed before you begin. Just crummy to remove the sword and revert some zones to their older versions, though. They require a classic Legion X back. They're on their way. They're on their way there. Not meaning in classic and retail if you play the game in the release order with no knowledge of other expansions. Yeah, but that's, that is the definition of classic, Mike. Uh, for Chromie, you can disable XP gain if you want the full questing experience. Oh, true! You could too! That's a really good point, Jack. Some players to go through that would be terrible for new players, given the massive shift in design throughout the years. That's why they added Exile's Reach, Chromie Time, and full BFA leveling for new players. Yeah, I think the only... Um... Which way should get with alts entering Shadowlands? I've done this, so skip to wherever. It's mostly there. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think the way you're trying to explain it, Mike, I don't think it'd work. Um, like, from a from a technology, like technology standpoint and stuff, it'd be a fuck ton of work. Like, a load of man hours for something that would very, very rarely be used because people will use the fastest path. That's, like, that's why there's a boost that's paid to get because people don't like leveling. Very few of us actually enjoy leveling uh, and very few players actually play for the lore of the old expansions. I think the only way to achieve what you're wanting is classic. Is having you go through classic and then BC and then Wrath and then Kata and then Mop and then like in going through it in, and that's what they're doing. They're only up to Mop though. I, I if they continue going through classic like expansion releases, you will eventually get to legion and and kata and all that kind of stuff and you will go through that story as it was intended all that kind of thing we just gotta wait there's a reason they're doing it an expansion every two years like if it was easy why like if it was easy they could have just released a classics thing and a bc and a wrath and a, like and just release all those servers at once and be like here guys play when you want but it's not easy because these old expansions were also written for old tech. Um, I remember there was a there was a dev blog before Classic was released, before the like before Vanilla Classic was released. It was between Nost being shut down and Classic launching when they had announced we are going to do this. And there was a dev blog that said the first thing we did was dig out the discs, the hard drives for Vanilla that were in the archives. We dug them out, we plugged them in and we booted it up just to see what would happen. It crashed. It couldn't run. It told them, you don't have a graphics card installed because the code was so old that it didn't recognize our current level of graphics cards. So they had to go in and rewrite that stuff. They also had then had to go in and they had like an algorithm on how Fireball calculated its damage, but that was broken because that algorithm could no longer be used by our current tech they had to rewrite an algorithm that would spit out the same answers at the same points with the same frequency but for today's tech so they're gonna they're going through and doing that for every fucking expansion every all of them <laughs> and that takes time and so i am sure eventually in the future we will get to kata and mop and legion and all that and have that beautiful classic experience that you're looking for but you have to give them time you have to. Uh, plus side of your play each and turn you get all the drops, etc. Move on to your speed. I get the difficulty side of implementing it. Yeah. The other thing is, are there going to be enough people at your point to be able to do that raid? Or do they have to implement tech that scales it so you can do it solo, but have it still be difficult? Like, how does that all, you know what I mean? There are so many questions that would need to be answered for that to work. And I, I just don't think that it would be worth them doing that because it all costs money. 
it all costs cash. <laughs> Uh, alrighty, where are we up to? Killing the Archivist. Uh, also that would divide the player base even more. It would, yeah. Not ideal. Not ideal. Um, that assumes that we continue the classic Xbox series with all the other Xbox until now, which I doubt will be profitable. It could be. You never know. Or I, I said, uh, we were talking about this earlier because someone said that they had read that Wrath was going to be the last one. Turns out that was just like player speculation on, on a bunch of forums and stuff, but um, we don't know. We, we can't possibly know where they're going to stop until they decide, and they may not even know. Like they might just be tape playing it by ear from now. Just let's see how Clap Wrath goes, and then if it goes really well, we'll announce Kata, and let's see how that's received. Uh, and then we'll see how Kata goes, and if Kata goes like crap, we'll stop there. And we'll have a Wrath server and we'll have a Kata server, and we'll have a Classic server, and if, Ra if Kata goes really, really, really badly, then eventually we'll shut that server down and just keep Wrath in Classic, and we'll just kind of see how we go from there sort of thing. Um, but yeah, there, there's there's only one way to know, and that's just to wait, to hurry up and wait. That also doesn't really make sense to release more than one X-Pac at the same time. Agreed. Since it'd fracture the playbase. Yep, absolutely. I've got all X-Packs on Classic available in their own separate servers would be nutty. It would be, yeah, I, I agree. Um, I, I am curious as to why they decided to keep Classic but close down BC and have Wrath. Like, I, it is, it's an interesting choice and I'd love to know the thought process behind it, but I doubt they'll ever, like, reveal that uh, because that would probably be revealing trade secrets uh, in terms of, like, numbers and, and stuff that isn't received, like... Shareholder reports will tell you some, but that you don't get everything in them. So, <laughs> I would love to know, but I doubt we ever will. And that's okay. I can accept that. Um, yeah, I am super glad that Classic is available to those who want that experience. Like, it, it th there was clearly a demand for it. Um, and... So, you know, the fact that they took that on and said, yep, okay, let's do it, it was it was good. I, I'm glad that they provided that. Uh, it's probably because they know there's a large player base uh, that just wants a classic experience. Maybe no bells and whistles, no X-Packs, just classic. Yeah, quite possibly. And, I mean, they are implementing things like Season of Mastery and stuff like that. Like, they, they are making it replayable to an extent, which is very interesting. Um, I am <clears throat> I'm cu really curious to see where that goes. Very curious. Are they shuttering BC? They are. They are. Is there going to be a season of mastery for BC as well? Nope. No BC servers. The BC servers are closing. Everything is negotiable. The BC servers have become Wrath prepatch servers, are becoming Wrath servers. There will not be any BC servers anymore. That's why I'm so curious as to why that choice. <clears throat> At least that's what Elenia told me. I mean, in the future. I doubt it. Like, if they're closing the server that's running that expansion, why would they have it Season of Mastery? That that expansion's gone. It's gone. They would have to reopen a B... Like, how could you do BC Season of Mastery when you've got people who are, like, at Wrath level? It doesn't... They'd have to reopen those servers. And if they've closed them, I reckon they've done it for a reason. I think that their research... You remember when they were looking at, um... A new server, that is. Yeah, I... Nah, I doubt it. Because Season of Mastery was take the tunes, you've, like, you know, do the thing. But, like... Uh -uh. If they've closed it, it's because there's not a market for it anymore. They've decided there's not a market for it. Or not enough of one. Our enemies gather for another assault. Strike them down first. Ah, uh, the return of BCC only servers might coincide with the introduction of BCC Season of Mastery at some point in the future, although he didn't have any specifics to share on that front. Might. Yeah. Okay. So if there's enough of an outcry for it. But, look, we'll see. Remember when they were talking about BC Classic? There was a survey that went out. Speak up, soldier. People and you know people were asking like if we re if we released Burning Crusade, how would you prefer it to happen? You know, be able to keep this 
and, but also have that or move oh, forward yeah. or stay here or blah 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 like I wouldn't play it or whatever I'm sure there was probably another one of those at some point and the answer was classic or wrath I wouldn't stay in BC sort of thing Yeah, okay, but that install is gone. That's what I'm saying. Like, as Jack has quoted, so I'm going to go with what Jack has quoted from an article. Might. Might coincide with the introduction of BCC Season of Mastery at some point in the future, although he didn't have any specifics to share on that front, which means it's not currently planned. They're thinking about it, maybe. There is a reason they shut down the BC servers. It's as simple as that. Those servers are gone for a reason. And Blizzard considered it a good enough reason. They made the decision based on their internal data that there was not enough of a player base to warrant having Burning Crusade servers. So if that's what they believe, it'd take a fuckload for them to reopen a BC server as a Season of Mastery thing. It'd take a lot. But, anyway. Um... Right. This tune is 57. And done! 70.75. Beautiful. Off we hop. No, 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 halfing. Log out. Oh, they will re-add it if they want. Yes, I am aware of that, Nab. I guess they're leaving it as an option. They, basically, what that says to me is, nope, but we won't close the door. We're not going to say never, but we're not, we are saying not now. They'd be, they'd be stupid as fuck to close the door on that kind of stuff forever. Now, they've done all that work to bring it up to modern, why why would they just wipe the servers they like why would they just delete all that data They've, they're gonna still have it in case of but the fact that they're shutting them down in the first place tells me they don't think it's worth it hmm <laughs> that could explain i had 156 on bc but it was not enough to start DK on Wrath Classic. Oh, there's no requirements to start a DK on Wrath Classic. You can open a brand new, fresh account with zero characters ever and create a DK. Um, I would like them to leave a single server open in maintenance mode. I doubt that would ever be even be populated with both Classic and Wrath happening. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh... We don't have access to what they have. It's, a sim it's as simple as that. We don't know what they know. And obviously, something, somewhere in their data said, BC's not worth it. So they made the choice. Only on non-fresh start servers. Okay, your first DK is free, the rest require 58. Oh, okay, I didn't know that bit, but I know Jas logged on and made one, like, right off the bat. So. He was the one who confirmed it to me, so... <laughs> How much, how, like, because of how how much of a slog leveling is in Classic, I, I couldn't imagine that they were making you have a tune at level like you did back in the day. Imagine free people actually get them out on retail. Exactly. Yeah. Got more DKs than you had a 58 tune. Like, the good old days. There you go. Perfect. Thank you for confirming that. I appreciate it. Make the DK finish the leveling process, make more DKs. Can't. That's not how it works, Jess. Remember, DKs are a hero class. You can't have multiple on one server. Uh, 
Ah, the DK session be a different realm. Yes, indeed. Welcome on in, Ether. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Come forth and be judged. Our servants make sense. Yes. Hey, Bal. I'm very mad. We were on the other side of the screen a moment ago. Yeah, it's a different scene. Uh, we were doing stream raiders, and so yes, my my setup is a little bit different for that screen. I'm not going mad. That's, that's how scenes in OBS work. Why is that stupid rule still a thing? Because it's Wrath, and it was the rule in Wrath, Jasserath. If you want to play classic, you get to play classic, what's and all. Greetings, mortal. No, I went to shake BC again weeks ago. Hype up server's pretty much dead. I don't understand why they shut down BC. Yeah. Presumably the same with evokers. Yeah, currently evokers are one per server. I believe. Um, but they did, they they very specifically said that, you know, they'd be looking to maybe remove that at a later date, like they did with the other hero classes and stuff, but at this point it's one per server. It's got the flu actually, but I'll live. I'm glad that you'll live. Wonderful news. I am sorry you got the flu though. It sucks. I really hope you feel better, like, super soon. Super, super quick. All the blankets and, and cuddly hot water bottle things and tasty food to make you feel better. <laughs> if you like me and take comfort in tasty food. Yeah, being sick sucks. Uh, no real incentive to have two of the same hero class on the same server now. Uh, do you need to have a level 60 character on a server to make an evoker there or on your entire account? No. I don't think so. Um, I think the... when So when I went to create... I could create one. This was on alpha though. I could create one straight off the bat on alpha. Um, however, it made me go through two warning screens. Um, that this is a this is an advanced class. It is highly recommended that you play the game with a different class first to learn how everything works, and then play an evoker to learn how they function because they are and they play very differently from anything I've ever experienced. Um, and I had to go through like the first screen. It was like I accept, and then there was another screen where I actually had to type in a word to acknowledge that yes, I know it's difficult. And I want to play anyway because the work you, you imagine like from their perspective you've got this really tricky weird sort of funky class a brand new player jumps in and starts playing goes this game is too hard I quit so that's why it's saying like it's hard you need to acknowledge this so I don't I don't think there's a requirement but there could be Living is important. Yes, agreed. Uh, BC servers are definitely not good. Uh, well, no, well, that that was Dazam's experience on their specific server. So your server might not be Deadlander, but other ones might be. We both have clearly different experiences. It's almost like we are living in a, a place where people have different experiences or something. Thank you, yes, the deal this year is also my sanitary. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm glad the COVID test is negative, but look, look, like a really bad flu can affect your taste as well because the like the nose and, and mouth and all that, kind of, it's all, and your ears, all connected. That's why you have ear, nose, and throat specialists. So like smell, if you lose your sense of smell, because for example, you're all clogged up, if you can't smell, you also can't taste. So it's not, yeah, it is actually a valid thing. <laughs> That's okay. Look, keep eating all the tasty food and then you'll know when you start getting better because you'll be able to taste it. <laughs> Initially in Dragonflight, you'll be limited to one Drakthir Evoker per realm. The only requirement to create your first Drakthir Evoker character is to have purchased Dragonflight. You'll be able to create this first Drakthir Evoker on any realm. Uh, subsequent Drakthir Evokers can only be created on realms where you have at least one non Drakthir Evoker character at level 50 or above. That makes sense. I like that. I like that. Prevents people from like leveling up a, a full account worth of ridiculously high tunes. 
really, really quickly. Uh, just because it was a thing in the original doesn't mean it'll be a thing in classic C Seal of Vengeance for Alliance Pallies. Yeah, but the vast majority of it is just, like, that's one example. Can you give me a whole bunch more? Like, you know what I mean? Clearly they thought this was enough, this was important enough for the flavour of Wrath for them to implement it. Um, maybe they should have a, hey, this class is hard, maybe you should try a hunter instead confirmation screen. Oh no. Uh, Zam is also EU. Yes, I believe Zam is EU. You're right. Absolutely. So maybe the EU BC servers were more dead the end than the NA ones. Very good point. Very, very good point. Heck, my retail server is dead, bound to be classic servers underpopulated too. Yeah, look, I mean, I, I don't think... Maybe, I, I mean, maybe it's just because I play Oceanic servers and because we have so few of them. You guys have an incredible number of servers for, like, American, like, the NA ones. So many servers. Maybe, like, hmm, you know... Like, I've never felt like any of my servers have been dead in my, like, what, 15, 14 and a half years of playing. I was trying to do math, it was hard. I'm tired, okay. <laughs> I don't know, maybe this is just like a uniquely American experience. <laughs> Correct. I see it's another one. This is. I've never seen a dead retail server because of grouping. What server? Yeah. Like CRZs and stuff like that. Um, Unless you're on an RP server, maybe that's because they. I know they don't do CRZs to avoid accidentally sticking you in with non-RP folk. That's a good point. I'm going to skim on the tasty food. Yas! What is going on? Jas, can you check your Steam, please? Apparently Jas is Josh now, according to the CC. If you ask me, yeah, I'm thinking that might be the case, so hey? I've never had an experience of like dead realms on Thank you, Jas. I appreciate I I'm like, um <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. I, th I thought it might have been that. There's definitely not a blame thing. It's just a... So, um... Jas of his own accord has realised that, um... Most of my stream issues, like connection issues and drop frames and stuff, are caused by his Steam updating in the background. So he's added a lockout period so that his Steam cannot update while I'm live. And it was set to 10pm. But it's 10.01. 10.02 now, and I'm still live. <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, I've tried that. It's not dead. There's still people in Ninjing my res! Oh no. Yeah, I've never, I've never experienced a dead server. I, I just don't know what, like, no matter what server I'm on, there's always chatter going on in cities. There's always a bunch of people everywhere. Um, there may I may not run into people as often out here in the open world, but like vast majority of end game players aren't in the leveling zones. But if I'm doing like a world quest, there are always people there, always. So I just I don't understand like I don't understand what people mean by like a dead. I don't think I've ever experienced that. I've never had a. I've never gone to a world quest and been the only person there, or <clears throat> or anything like that. <clears throat> Legend. No, in heck, Darth is dead. It's cross run with Bath. You oh, could just cap the download, Jas. Battle net is capped to one hundred, and it still manages to fuck with you. It does. It does. Seri, thank you so much for the resub! Six months enjoy your new sub badge. Hope you're doing well today. 
Happy death. Personally, see their eight or nine from Castlebath, but that's that. That's the whole reason why Cross Realm exists. So how is that? That's not dead. Not only that, but, like, server merges have also happened, like, just before Shadowlands. So, like, yeah, I, um, connection with Chasm makes sense. It's the same server, technically. Yeah, yeah, it is. You can even join the, like, guilds and stuff with people from Kaz. We don't have gigabit into the Ethernet everywhere. Yes, it will fuck with stream. We, of course we don't, Jack. Welcome to Australia. Our internet is shit. I'm lucky enough to have fiber to the basement. And I'm lucky enough to be on a reasonably low level floor, so that between the fibre in the basement and me is the only length of copper. Like, we don't build buildings with fibre in them in Australia. Because, you know, people are idiots. <clears throat> um. Realms are just namespaces in the same server. Network cables. I have no idea. They're blue. <laughs> Look, I'm good at computers, but when it gets to, like, there is a level that it gets to where I know I don't know shit. It's fine. Cluster is healthy, I agree. For some reason, death is the redheaded stepchild of the <laughs> Oh, no. Look, but that's okay though. As long as you're still interacting with other folk, does it matter what their server tag is? Like that's that's the thing. Does it does it matter? Cause like even your auction house is is like I mean, if you're not talking like commodities are global or region wide now. Not global, but region wide. So that's huge. It's always plenty of those around. But then other stuff that aren't commodities, you've still got all your connected realms. So, like and with guilds and stuff, connected realms too. What, like, does it matter that people are not choosing to have Dath in their name in chat? Because that's literally the only thing that it does. And I'm not trying to, I'm, there's, I'm not trying to shame or ridicule or any of that kind of stuff here at the moment. I'm, I'm genuinely curious because I've never thought of it that way. And I would like to understand a different perspective if at all possible. Apparently the server name does matter because there are things to be said about players from X Realm. Fuck. They didn't combine things into clusters, they just close realms and yeet them, so basically bubbles anyway! What she basically said. So people are saying things about Darth Ramon. Okay, see I don't I don't really participate in any of that kind of crap. So I I have no idea what people say about Darth players or or Kaz players or Saurfang or Amanthal or any- I, I just don't know, um, nor do I actually care, uh, but, right, okay. So that's literally the only, like, the complaint is, death is dead, because no one creates new tunes on death. Hi, the sun will. Because something- Aether, thank you so much for your prime sub! Very much appreciated, welcome! To the Fionati. Yeah, definitely not a cult. Unfortunately, that also means we do not have, like, a one-step cure for the flu. But... <laughs> Look, soon. soon. Yeah, they say they're laggy. Yeah! <laughs> Fair. Fair. Oh dear, two more minutes to place units. This is gonna be the last battle, and once that wraps, we will be wrapping up stream because Fia is tired and she still has food prep to do. Yay! I know I was buying in for the fluke here. Oh no! I'm so sorry for misleading you. <laughs> Hot water bottles, blankets, and like more stream. There's another one tomorrow, so you'll be fine. None I could care less about that kind of stuff. Uh, I was in a guild with my boyfriend at the time. Guy had refused to grab players from certain realms. Oh god. Yeah, but that's just disgusting. Like, that's... I wouldn't want to play with those kind of players anyway. If they're not going to invite me because I'm on Zaofang. No, screw them. Like, I don't want to play with them anyway. That's gross. I'd rather fight than talk. That's just pathetic. Like, good lord. 
Maybe they decided to play there because that's where their friends are playing. And they're actually a bloody good pl like the <sighs> It's like assuming something about someone because of their hair colour. Fuck off. <laughs> Sorry, I just I just think that's so ridiculous. Sometimes I feel like those kind of players, like, oh, I don't want to take them because they have a that, that server has a reputation for having bad players, can be translated to I've heard that players from that server aren't good enough to carry me and I'm trash and don't want to admit it so I don't want to invite them because they might not be able to carry me as hard as I need to be. Like it just, that kind of attitude is not okay. Fear rant over. Don't mince words. That's really... See, language differences is absolutely a different thing, especially considering, like, if, if you're playing in EU as well, servers literally are based in different languages. And that's, like, if, if you cannot communicate with a team member because you speak English and they speak French or German or Spanish or, or like, any other language, like, I get that's different. If you're looking at excluding people because of assumed skill level based on their server, compared to I'm going to assume that I'm not going to be able to communicate effectively with this person, that's a bit different. You could still, of course, DM them and see if they can respond, but it's like, no, that's different. That's different. In my opinion, at least, you're welcome to disagree with me, of course, as always. Just because I'm the one on camera doesn't make my opinion correct. Um, must be tired. Oh lord, yes, always. We could be a cult. Only need three people for religion. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I know this kind of place. It's some cooth issue I had with their CRZ takers on the realm I used to be on. My realm was underpopulated, so I was CRZs with mostly people from the other faction. Oh, I've been kicked from group solely because my connection to American realms is 180. Nothing to do with language barrier, everything to do with players from X-Realm or assholes. Yeah, that's a sign of an asshole. If everyone you run into is an asshole, it's probably because you're the asshole. Um I really hard to do world quests and stuff due to faction tagging. I I don't know if it was just because I'm leveling or or what, but there was a quest I was doing before um where an alliance player had run up and started hitting something, and I know it usually takes a couple of hits before the tag kicks in and the nameplate goes grey, for me at least. But, and I'm watching and it's like down to half health and it, it, the nameplate was still red and I'm like, so I smacked it and I helped them kill it and I got loot too and I'm like, what? Usually CRZs um, take like high horde pop with high horde pop and, and that kind of stuff, but I mean, it's not always perfect. It's, it's not human. It's AI, it can only do so much. Um, Zam, Neren, Zombie, Dihum and Fiend, congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. It's always action slash wave. It's funny to see interrupt announcement in German or French. I thought Fiend was always correct. Not always. Not always. And the assholes if they're on the bridge of Spaceball 1. <laughs> For elites and rares, there is no faction tagging. It wasn't an elite or a rare. It was a, a like, literal, not even, not even a, a hard, like, it had 8k health. It was just a mob. Like it was on stream a couple hours back. I don't I don't know the timestamp unfortunately, but it yeah, no, it was not a rare or named or anything. It was one of the slimes in the the pit in Maldraxxus. Um no real crystal eats, I mean I am aware. Neither. Neither. Uh, I play Andrana in EU. Uh, the only reason you have to kill the slimes is because you try to grab a weapon and they aggro onto you. So um, play on journal in EU and I've had pugs where all five people spoke a different language. We had to communicate with world markers. Amazing, Timur. I'm so glad you were able to make it work. Some fights, granted, are a little bit more complicated and you can't quite make that work, but it's so cool that you were able to for the for what you were doing. That's amazing. Amazing. Yay for communication. Communication is the core of, of so much stuff. <laughs> right. We done.
<laughs> Sorry, I just... This is wrong. I can't tell you why it's wrong, but it's wrong. Um... Good. So, 11th. That's today. We were supposed to do beta, but um, there were no... Like, the, the newest build still doesn't have anything that I can do without spoilers. Um, tomorrow, Final Fantasy XIV. It is our final sponsored stream in this series. I hope that you'll join me. I'm so excited to see where the MSQ is taking us. Uh, Wednesday, leveling. Friday, leveling. And then, kicking off on Saturday the 17th, Fear loses her mind. It is the Fear's phone fundathon, starting at 10 a.m. on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, maybe. Maximum of 12 hours each day. There will be incentives and milestones. Um, so an incentive is, you know, contribute X amount and I will do this. A milestone is when we as a whole reach 25%, I will do this. Um, it is a, a throne... The throne is the, the privacy first wish list that I am a member of. I have a phone on there. It's an iPhone 13 that I am crowdfunding, uh, which means that you don't have to buy it off the wish list outright because good lord. Uh, but every contribution will push the timer out longer. Um, and uh, I'm maxing it out. It's capped out at 36 hours, which is a 12 hour stream, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So. Fingers crossed, I might end up being able to get a new phone before PAX. That would be fantastic. That would be just magical. Absolutely magical. Uh, but we'll see how we go. No expectations. We're all good. Uh, but that's what's happening next weekend, and I am terrified. Uh, final sponsor stream only until they do another round. Look, we can only hope, right, Mara? We can only hope. No assumptions here. Uh, we, we hope for the best and plan for the worst. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's what the next week with fear looks like. Yep. All right, good. Let's, um... Oh, man. Oh, man. I just... I have a phone call on Thursday. Or, like, a video call on Thursday with some people. And, uh, I am, um, see, see, we will see, oh yeah, all the panic, but like good panic, if that makes any sort of sense. Good panic. All right. Let's go throw some love at people. Have a moment on Friday, maybe. Maybe. That's, I'm, I was saying, uh, I, we've got two moments this month so far, which means we have three left. I know what the fourth one's gonna be. Uh, the third one's gonna be, and I know what the fourth one's gonna be. So we'll, we'll see. Let's see, I just, I want, I want to tell you. I can't. I, I cannot. But I really want to, so please forgive me. Anyway. Oh, panic! Yeah, that's it. That's it. Definitely hope you have a good night. Is it again? Yes, you too, Landa. You too. Maybe. Indeed. Alrighty, let us do this bit. And then we do this bit. Grab your copy-paste. If you don't have the Fiamma Hype emote, either because you are not subscribed or because you haven't unlocked it using your channel points, both which are totally fine, you can still copy and paste the entire message into chat, delete the Fiamma Hype and replace it with your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote and then drop it into Barry's channel when we get there. Barry is a lovely, wonderful human, uh, incredibly supportive, just such a lovely person. So I hope that you'll at least say hello um, if you need to jet off and stuff, I get it. I need you to, but just at least saying hi before you do would be really lovely. Um, but take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I'm going to see you tomorrow for some Final Fantasy XIV. All the love. Mwah! Bye, guys. Want some of my...
jungle now. 